Like what it has seen. This is Kevin's <laughs> reaction to Endgame. Uh. <laughs> uh. <coughs> Hi, friends. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hello, guys. Ah, okay, the, bu the bun is going away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi, hello everyone. <gasps> no. <laughs> okay. Hi, <laughs> Hickory. Hi, Hickory. You did. Welcome. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Three minutes, three and a half minutes into the stream. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, friends. So what we're doing to don't you do it. I I'm see not. I see you ready to do it again. <laughs> no, my hands are away from the uh -huh. look. look uh -huh. There you go. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. what we're, we're actually doing today is G Knight is gonna be <gasps> drawing No <laughs> He's drawing the poster for the Kickstarter. <laughs> I am. And then Reed's here, because Reed is, is beautiful and decided to show up, so. Oh my god, the buddy saw your search history. <laughs> <laughs> the buddy saw what was uh. in my gallery. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> the buddy saw the whole FNAF lore and understood <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, you need to make merch of the bunny now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Let me make a funny sticker. Oh. But yeah, this is uh this is the sketch. It's gonna be an uh eight and a half by eleven print uh for the Kickstarter. Yes. Oh my god. And it's Halloween themed. Halloween. <clears throat> Halloween. Because we're gonna make sure that all of the merch shows up before Halloween so you get your Halloween goodies. Yes. 
Everyone's praising you tonight. Oh, thank you. You look amazing. Uh, Whose house are the uh, Star Palace crew breaking into? Anybody. Your house. Mine. You specifically, May. They're, they're breaking into your house as a reward for helping us in the last stream. <laughs> <sighs> oh, God. Uh, I'm dying. <laughs> well, stop that. <clears throat> don't do it don't die <sighs> time to do your job go 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 I know. I'm going I'm going I need to prep bro I need to prep we're on a time frame here I Let's need go. to prep <laughs> I need to mentally <laughs> I need to mentally prepare I myself <laughs> 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 oh god go to sleep frog says my door wouldn't survive them busting in probably not no door can hold them back <laughs> <laughs> r.i.p cal yeah i, I have died <laughs> yet again <sighs> oh, i'm just trying to breathe now <coughs> she how's that going not well <sighs> yeah, it's just it's everybody straight up feral breaking in. <clears throat> oh god, I fucked up my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <clears throat> I'm trying to recover. Huh. God, that was like you with the hamster. <laughs> la, la. Hamster. No. Hamster. No. <laughs> 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 Every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I am trying to work. <laughs> Read, play it again. Come on, no. We're on a time frame here. You need yeah. to. You need I to am trying. <laughs> I am trying. Let's go. Clock's ticking. Uh. <sighs> Faring wants to know what our favorite Pokemon are. You go first, uh, I, uh, I, baby, I, uh, I, I have so many. Uh. Top three. Uh, uh, at Salamence, uh, Hatterin, uh, at, uh, uh, Let's pick one. Garchomp. Okay. <laughs> I like Lucario, Typhlosion, and Gengar. Read. I don't know anything about Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Not a damn thing. Reed is the guy that just goes Pikachu. <laughs> What's the bunny's lore? How the heck did that come to be? Oh, um, it was a Twitter post I found. <laughs> 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 oh, God. I should show them the actual Twitter post. Uh... <laughs> God, I can't even look at it. No, I didn't mean to reply. I'm trying to copy. Oh, my God, I can't focus. Reply. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Here, there it is. That's the post. That's the button. <clears throat> oh. It just got shadow banned. Nothing showed up. Oh, damn. Oh, well. Sorry, guys. It's I tried. your own stream and you can't share links? What the fuck? Oh. Oh. It's fine. Oh. But yeah, it was just, it was a post of a bunny with this, a specific look on its face on Twitter, and then Reed made a noise, and I couldn't stop laughing, and then Gina decided to very quickly draw it right before the stream. <laughs> oh, okay, no, Hickory saw it. Hickory clicked on it. So did Molly. Cool. Oh. Shut <clears throat> up for me. <laughs> I mean, my character doesn't really look anything like a score buddy. 
It's just a bunny. Those are like very rabbit. different rabbits. <laughs> Oh, oh, my stomach hurts from laughing. <laughs> oh, maybe one day I'll recover. Today is not that day. <clears throat> sure about that? I don't know. <laughs> uh. So instead, of course, we're starting with Perry. Technically, he's starting with the door. I'm doing the door. <laughs> that bunny, but make it count. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Ooh, somebody just said, but a La Pony with the Callan color scheme. That would be really cute, though. I love La Pony. Yes. <laughs> Bun. Bun scare. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> bun in the doorway. That's it. That's the print. It's just the bun in the doorway. <laughs> oh, look, it's. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh no. Nova says the door. That's my favorite character. I love the door. <laughs> ah yes, the Dora, my favorite Star Palace character. <laughs> you guys should know, <laughs> Dora is the best MVP. character. <laughs> the sexiest of the Star Palace cast, Dor. <laughs> Callan shocked. It me. <gasps> oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Oh, that's cute. Oh no, I just gave you an Eevee tail. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Eevees are cute. There you go. <laughs> that's it, guys. That's the print. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you for going to the stream, everyone. <laughs> Now get out! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She's gotta stay right there. Oh, no! She's gotta stay in the corner. <laughs> Body pillow of door when? <laughs> <sighs> Forget secret eerie route. Give me that door. Secret door route. Okay, but if we made a dating sim, could you imagine just how funny it would be to have like an Easter egg door route? You could, you could seduce door. Door! <laughs> God, Molly said one could even call it adorable. Uh, How could you do this? How could you, Molly? My dated door. Uh, Hickory says, so what's been going on? How's it going, you guys? I mean, we're doing pretty good. Um, <clears throat> Gina has been working really hard on the visuals for chapter two, and he's really only paused just to get all the Kickstarter stuff done for you guys. Um, cause he's basically our, our main and only artist at the moment. He working hard guys. That's why, uh, a good majority of the money for the next Kickstarter is going to him because he's drawing a lot. So mm -hmm. much. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I am going to say something actually guys. So at the end of August, Reed's mom the, being the lovely lady that she is, actually bought me a ticket to go visit him uh, for our birthdays, because we're we're all August babies, and we're also going to be meeting up with G-Night for the first time. Yeah. Yay! So uh, <laughs> if you guys would like to help us out with a little bit of, like, spending money, because this is happening kind of, like, last second, because I got us all tickets for, like, Disney and Universal and stuff like that via contacts who have free tickets, um, if you guys want to send us, like, you know, some food money or some souvenir money, 
uh, you could send it down to my coffee. And if you want like a specific amount to go to either Reed or G Knight, I can send it to them. Or if you guys uh, have uh, Reed, you can post your link in the chat. To your... PayPal me three thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Hickory says best mom true, Chad. You guys have no idea. Reed's mom and and dad have done more for me in the short amount of time that I have known for them, known them than my own family has done. Like Reed's mom is a fucking saint. <laughs> Which is my PayPal link? Yeah, just post to, like your your PayPal dot me or whatever. So that way, if you guys want to send it straight to uh, Reed, you can. Uh, if you want, you can send it to me and just say who who gets what, and I can send it to them either way. Because my coffee link's down there. That's both sweet and sad. Yeah! Yeah. It's fine. This is definitely one of those cases of, like, I found myself a new family. And that family's all my friends, and apparently Reed's family. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise adoption. Yeah. I know, it, Reed's mom has legit, like, straight up adopted me at this point. $300 and they voiced the door, guys. <laughs> door All cameo. Right, guys, here you go. <laughs> oh, shadow banned my link. No! <laughs> I know what to do. Huh? I do that, and then that, and then maybe that. I mean, how can you not like Dora? There. Look at them. They've got the best frame out of all of the characters. There you go. Just get rid of the spaces and give me $3,000. You will get my gratitude in return. That's, that's all you get. It's better, it's better than I give anyone else. So don't, I, don't. I didn't even see your you link, will, actually. You would all get a kiss in the in the forehead from Reed. Mm, no. Gratitude, that's it. I'm not. We don't, we don't do that here. A pat on the shoulder. <laughs> just pat, pat. You manifested the found family so hard direction. it came true. <laughs> you I will look, look in your direction and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I will acknowledge you. <laughs> yeah, I really did though. Um, I, that's the thing. When In whatever like fandom I've been in or community, I tend to come out of it with like one new person every time. Like... I was in the dreaded once la fandom, which I, I did find funny that that's apparently coming back up again. Oh my god, I'm getting flashbacks from like uh, somebody found like uh, like popped up. I I can't even word. Uh, <laughs> somebody popped up on my Twitter that I used to follow like fucking years ago. Uh, but yeah, no, like from the once la fandom, I found Corv, and then from the Yu-Gi-Oh fandom, I found Mango, and then uh. The Ballad Wonder World and like Hell of a Boss, like kind of sort of weird mixture combined, but mostly Hell of a Boss. I found G Knight, and then I later found Reed, and then Reed brought me Doof, and just everybody kind of like fell into place. We're all besties now. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite voice lines from the door are. <laughs> I I am officially Dora's voice now. That's it. Dora. <laughs> Dora the Explorer. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what else, Reed? Go on, let it out. <laughs> Is that it? I love possums. They're cute little babies. What are your guys' opinion on possums? Stinky. Stinky. Read. They look like... They do. <laughs> That's why I love them. Oh, one of them scared the shit out of me one time, though. Uh, so Ari was helping us move out of, oddly enough, this exact apartment complex. 
and uh, it was it was dark outside. And as we were walking outside, something ran under my car. And we were just sitting there like, I don't know what the fuck it is. Like, I don't want to try to get in the door if there's going to be something under there. And we just kind of kept freaking out. And so what I did is I got really close. I opened the door and then I slammed it shut just to try and like scare whatever was under the car out. And a possum just shot out from under my car and just ran away. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It was cute, though, once we figured out what it was. Yeah, I'll take the possum over the swans that we have. Swans are beautiful, but those things are terrifying. They're huge. You found a family, but they're all goblins? <laughs> <laughs> May wants to know if you're dying, Reed. Um, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. You will never know. <laughs> Just Don't... like the cat. The cat? Is it dead or alive? Oh, shorting your cat. The door even has a jump scare. I mean, considering the fact that the only jump scare I had in Security Breach was the fucking door. <laughs> okay, but Pickles is a great name for a possum. You're right, though. Yeah, we actually, uh, we have two swans that are in our little, like, pond lake area over here. And, uh, we think that they're either lesbian swans or gay swans, because they have not made babies this whole time. Like, there have been, been no goslings whatsoever. Do you guys like insects? Uh, Gina and I do. Absolutely. Reed does not. No. <laughs> Get out of my sight. They have three I tarantulas. And they're making babies, huh? apparently. Wow. Interesting. Uh huh. See, I like what insects when they're not touching me. I like to look at them from afar. I actually have some, um, some framed moths up on my wall. I love them. I still really I want, want to, to be off. surrounded by them. <laughs> Reed's afraid of butterflies. I'm not afraid of them. I'd rather they stay away from me and I stay <laughs> away from them. But they're like, oh, welcome to the outside. We're going to fly at you at full speed. And it's like, please don't. <laughs> I'm just trying to take the dog out to take a shit. They like you. No. No? My one goal in life is to hold one of those very big fluffy moths. Yes. That's all I need to be happy. <laughs> oh, I thought I just went blind for a moment. Jeez. Hmm? What the fuck did you do? I took off my glasses to rub my eyes and I looked back at my screen and everything was way blurrier than it should have been. Oh. <laughs> I was like, uh oh, did I pass the fucking line? <laughs> I need to go back in. <laughs> Molly says you're experiencing wormy from SpongeBob Reed. <laughs> Unironically, yes. Yeah. Ooh, I have seen a live praying mantis before, but it was when I was a teenager and I was kind of an asshole to it. There were a lot of praying mantises uh, back where I lived in Mexico. Mm. Just kind of chilled. There's a few here. In a couple in my backyard. I love them. I feel so bad for what I did when I was like younger, though. I, I literally teabagged it. I took a teabag and I bopped it. <laughs> and, and then I ran away. <laughs> Leave the crime scene. It, it was in a hole in my, my fence. My, like, cinder block fence in my childhood home. And my friend and I were, like, watching it because it was doing the whole I'm gonna attack you thing. And then we teabagged it and ran away and laughed. And I feel guilty now because I'm like, damn, that was an asshole move. He didn't deserve it. Oh, they're not making babies. They're their personal. Okay, sorry. Unfortunately, the little heart that's like on the bottom tends to like 
completely cover whatever one of the last words is that's close to there, so I can't always read it. Oh god. No, I, I'd freak out. Somebody said uh, a grasshopper landed on my shirt once, and that was the best moment of that summer. Uh, yo. Yeah, we get lots of those fuckers, too. I hate grasshoppers. <laughs> I'll just be chilling, taking the dog out, and then suddenly they just boing, boing, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Insect hit and run. Yeah. Unfortunately, because I live in the middle of the fucking city, I don't get to see many buggies around. Yeah. The most exotic thing I've seen was a very pretty jumping spider, and that's about it. Ooh. And my mom killed it in, on sight. <gasps> no. But it made me very sad. On sight? Oh. <laughs> yeah, on sight. I was literally, I was literally, it was, it, the motherfucker was in the kitchen. It was one of, one of the kitchen, ce the kitchen ceiling. I was like, ma, there's a spider. Hold on, let me catch it. And she was like, and she just fucking <laughs> grabbed the fucking chunk and just slapped it. Oh, no. It was so spider, pretty. Say no more. <laughs> it was so. <laughs> my dude, no. Here's the sad part. It, it was way too pretty to be a wild one. I, I was thinking it might, might have been like a, somebody's pet that escaped. Mm. Possibly. Okay, jumping spiders are the cutest though. I, I follow somebody on Twitter. I don't remember what their name is right now, but they have videos of their jumping spiders and they give them these adorable little high pitched voices. Oh, I love <laughs> them so much. I want a jumping spider. I would I would love to have one, I'm not even gonna lie. Uh. See, I love fireflies and they're really pretty. I don't I don't know if I've ever actually seen one live. I like the idea of them. And also now I just wanna rewatch the Firefly series. I especially want to watch it for some inspiration because uh one of the other projects I wanna work on, the one with Ruby in it, um, I want it to be like Space Cowboy kind of thing, and Firefly is a great reference for that. Plus, it's just a fun series. The movie's a little sad, though, because the, the movie, it, the creators do some weird shit with it just to be like, yeah, you see, we're not bringing it back. They hurt you on purpose. Oh nah, no no no. I could I could never have a pet hissing cockroach. Just nah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Can't do it. They serve zero purpose. <laughs> oh no. Oh, they're so creepy. Uh, you guys have heard me when roaches have gotten into this room. You, you've heard me scream. I'm not digging it. Like in the New Year's stream, when one of those fuckers uh -oh. started crawling up the leg. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> like the time when I was standing outside for gym class, lined up, getting ready for like dodgeball or whatever. And I felt a tickle on my leg. Oh, and I looked no. down and there was a spider crawling up. <gasps> oh, and I made the most no. stupid noise like <laughs> 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 And everyone looked at me and I'm like Uh the spider, sorry. <laughs> Can I hear that again? Yeah. No, I wanna hear it again. <laughs> it once. Oh no! Oh, it's fine. It's back. It, it, yeah, it's fine. It's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Actually, I have a I have a cockroach horror story to tell you guys. Uh, I told Reed and G Knight via text when it happened. Uh, I think I think it was like the next day, but. Uh, it was like three or four in the morning and I'm trying to walk out to get myself a little snack and uh, I have to go down a, down a hallway. I'm the last room in the apartment. So I have to go down a hallway and then the kitchen's on the right after that. So as I'm walking down the hallway, I just see this big black spot up on the wall, like literally in the crack between the ceiling and the wall. And I just stare at it and just slowly start to back up. And just like I'm watching it because I'm so afraid it's gonna move. And I 
as soon as I'm in my room, I'm just rummaging around. I'm trying to find my phone so I can turn on my light. And it took me, like, a, a hot minute to find my raid. And I just slowly walk back out. Got the flashlight, uh, you know, on it. And I spray it as best as I can. And this fucker tries to fly at me. And so <laughs> I squeal. And I step back. And Mango wakes up. And Mango comes over and is just like, what? What happened? What? And I'm just like, Roach, 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 Roach. And they're like, where? And I'm like, there. And they're like, where? And I'm like, it's on the floor. And they're like, hold on. I'll squish it. And I'm like, I killed it. Just, just throw it away or something. I don't know. And then they stepped on it and they threw it away for me. <laughs> no. Our Consume. millipedes are so cute, though. Do it, May. Do it. May's drawing. Yeah. Oh, God. It's always like, okay, so the big roaches are scary as fuck, and I hate them. But I would rather see a single big roach because they they're, they don't mean to be in here. They just kind of wandered in from outside or, like, through, like, your pipes and stuff like that. They kind of came in on accident. The really scary ones are the little ones, which are called German roaches. Those are the ones who are actively, like, breeding in your walls. I hate them. Would Savvy call himself Zavula? Sure, why not? Oh, it's fine, May. I usually doodle in pen. Have y'all heard of a woolly chafer beetle before? I have not. Nope. Oh god, that's the worst. The fear when a roach flew at you and now you don't know where it is. That That's part of what happened <laughs> on my New Year's stream. It just, like, I went to squish it and it fell, like, behind my desk. And then it ran at my legs. Hey, Khaled, is this you? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> oh, what she said. It's the Homer <laughs> meme, yeah. <laughs> oh, flying cockroaches are terrifying because they're the big ones. I don't want it to like me. I don't like it. You can go away. I want it to be friends. No. You want it to be best buds. No. No roaches. Uh-uh. Oh my god, cicadas. <laughs> They Reed, you love cicadas. Don't you have the sound effect? It's somewhere. I'd have to find it. <laughs> Fucking Doof and I are going through Evangelion. Uh huh. They overuse that sound. Oh yeah, constantly. <laughs> and constantly. there have been multiple scenes where it is like ten decibels higher than the dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like having a fucking focus to hear what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Like, what is wrong with? It means summer. I too would like to hang out in a tree and scream. I oh, see yeah. someone talking about Faramosa. I love Faramosa. And I <laughs> give. God, I can't even imagine having a small colony of roaches to feed the spideys. Just nah. <laughs> nah. Why not? Nah. Why not? No. Why not? I no. <laughs> I cannot. 
Cannot what? Cannot. Cannot what? Just can't. Nah. What? Oh yeah, man, I love snakes. Absolutely love snakes. I used to have one when I was little. And then I uh, was never taught how to close the cage properly. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you, friends. Oh god, I used to love going to the swap meet and they, they had a uh, like an exotic pet store in there. It was mostly snakes. I loved looking at the corn snakes. I wanted one so bad. They were so cute. Little noodle babies. Noodle puppies. Yeah, that's cat allergies for the bingo card. I've already muted twice to blow my nose, so, you know. <laughs> Ew! Oh, roach coffee. No, that sounds awful. Oh... Uh -oh. Roach what? Roach coffee. Uh, Hyde says, I also hate roaches. We had a coffee maker that was set to brew at a specific time, and because roaches are attracted to the sound of running water, we would wake up to roach coffee. Ugh. Everyone loves the boop noodles. Yes, I do love the boop noodles. Snakes are amazing. <laughs> oh god, I forget. What's the breed of snake that like looks like someone really badly drew a snake? Like its eyes are all fucked up? I don't know. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm sure everyone can picture it. I just <gasps> don't remember what, what kind of snake it is. I'm sure snake. if you type fucked up snake on Google. <laughs> That's Beetlejuice themed coffee right there. Mm. Okay, you know Beetlejuice would totally drink rich coffee. Uh, if you had the opportunity to live anywhere you wanted, would you keep living in a warm, humid area, or would you try to living in a colder place? Honestly, I kind of miss living in Las Vegas. Um, I also do miss living in California, but it's expansive out there. And also, most of my my biological family is out there, and I don't really want to be anywhere near them. You should let them know you're coming. I will absolutely not. <laughs> They'll try to insist on seeing me, and I'm just like, nah. Not Open happening. up the family group chat. Hey guys, I'm coming. No. <laughs> nope. Ah, someone said I will the be Kenyan sand boa. Date. Reed used to live in Alaska. I was born there. Yeah. Indicola. I would go anywhere where the rent wasn't so expensive. Yeah, that is a whole mood. See, my problem is I like being near the theme parks because it's definitely like a hyper fixation of mine. So. Like, living in Washington, I felt like I was being tortured on a daily basis because I couldn't go to Disney. Sean, I was like, really? I didn't know Reed used to live in Alaska. Well, it's not something that I talk about every day of my life. Yeah. I really so, only brought uh, it up because we were talking about living in cold places. Uh, I don't 
really keep up with cars. I don't think I have any favorites. Do you guys? Bumblebee. Bumblebee. <laughs> he counts. Does it get me from point A to point B without walking? Yeah, I'll take it. Optimoch Prime. The fucking car people need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> let's be real if you if you're one of those people that's like oh yeah i got this supercharged eight fucking volt whatever shit like, shut up nobody mm -hmm. cares Beck <laughs> wants to know reed if it took you a while to get used to living in a warmer place i've it was fun at first because we showed up and then of course you know we're used to zero degrees yeah uh so even if it was like 60 50 degrees when we got here it was like wow this is warm because it was also you know close to desert which is by comparison <laughs> there wasn't snow everywhere i was like ooh, <laughs> it, was just, it was a good like year mm -hmm. or so where i didn't have to like really wear a jacket mm -hmm. and everyone would be like what is wrong with you? Is not <laughs> cold? It's like, no this feels great but now i fucking freeze when it's like 60 degrees yeah that's a <laughs> acclamation moment uh since star palace is a theme park do they have any crazy rides oh it's not a theme park or it is, is it's it is for entertainment there's shows uh and there's like an arcade and stuff like that but it's not a theme park or is it no don't spread false information or is <laughs> it <laughs> me when i spread misinformation online. Don't. <laughs> part of the team you can't do that not allowed or you're fired <laughs> you know it might be <coughs> no perhaps no you know excuse <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> me sorry guys you're gonna hear me yawning a lot because uh i actually didn't go to sleep last night so yeah. Whose fault is that? Eh, not my fault. It's not my fault that the, <laughs> the, the sleeping medication made me sleep in until four thirty PM the next the last day. That day I don't know, whatever whatever day that was. I've lost track of time completely at this point. Have you slept at all? I can't remember. Nope. Not no, even the two. No hour naps. Nap? Nope, nothing. God damn. I have been awake this wow. whole time. Exact. What? The comment. Uh, I just said that why I didn't sleep. No. No, I was reading chat. Yeah, I know. They're asking why I didn't sleep, and I... I, I... No, no, no. The fucking read is joining the war on misinformation. Oh! On the side of misinformation. I'm like, exactly. I can't read. <laughs> No, Rainer, no. no. Exactly. No. Yeah, see, you know? I think Going it is. on. No, they're trying to insist that Reed's information is correct when it's not. <laughs> no. It always is. No. You know? No. You got the show area and the stage and all that, and then you go out the back and there's wham. No. <laughs> it's a dilapidated old hotel and a uh, even more dilapidated old uh, mental asylum. What? What? Yeah. In a nutshell. That is actually canon. Which is why the one person who bought the Mirage character package got this really cool old key. Because it looks like an insane asylum key. So they got a key oh. in their package. Yeah, it's an abandoned building. Uh, kind of past the woods. Not not in the area that the characters actually went into in Chapter 5. But it's a little like further off to the left than that. It's just a thing. It's not like important. But it's there. <laughs> I just think it's you just see that. it. <laughs> 
Because you know Mirage would find their way in there and find some shit. No, no, Star Palace is not a former mental asylum. Mental asylum is outside behind it. Star Palace was basically like, if you've ever seen something like Medieval Times, it was a building that was kind of like that. It was a failed business. Hey, Reed, big fan. Well, I use a small fan to cool down my room. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> you know what, Becky? I'll accept that answer. Zaffy's the right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Nova got all of his textbooks in order. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, once uh once Gina finishes this print, I can stick it in the Kickstarter, and you guys can get a little preview of what it's gonna look like. I put some really nice looking graphics in there this time. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what cookie? What what cookie? Cookie could fit me? Huh? What does that mean? I don't know. Someone's saying cookie could fit me. What? I don't know. That joke was fantastic, Reed. <laughs> You're goddamn right. <laughs> um, I currently don't have any uh, Mirage and Zavi body pillows, Crystal. I do have some eerie ones left, and I actually um, have the art now for a Shura body pillow. Um, I don't really know. I could probably open pre-orders for all of the characters at this point as, like, one, like, one listing and see if anyone wants some of the ones that, like, were previously available. Uh, so the Kickstarter is starting on August 5th, Shauna, so you don't have to worry. You haven't missed it yet. Uh, it starts on the 5th. It's gonna last about a, a month. What? I moved my hand and beat the shit out of my microphone. No. <laughs> I'll tell you, yeah, I still got to throw together the video for that, so I'm going to have to send you two some lines uh, probably tomorrow. Today I spent a lot of time running around and doing errands and going to the bank and shit. So, <laughs> yeah. Did you finish those errands? I did. Did you finish those errands? I did. Did you finish those I did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can I can probably open up a a pre order for like all of the body pillows, other than Eerie, because like I said, I have five of those here already. Also, uh, thanks to Potato who has funded the art for it, there is gonna be a Doc body pillow as well. Uh, Mango's currently yeah. working on that. Uh, just be aware that one's technically gonna be the most adult out of them all, so you do have to be. You just I hope that you're eighteen if you're ordering it because there's a nip slip. <laughs> she and I just seen the sketch. Oh, it's okay, Shauna. Yeah, no, the next one is starting on the 5th. I was originally going to start it on the 2nd, which is my birthday, but I need a little bit more time for uh, G Knight to be able to finish this and for me to put the video together so that everything's all ready. Yes, oh. the art for the new chapter is halfway done, so we're yeah. getting there. Okay, they're talking about Cookie Run. Okay, I wasn't sure, like, what cookie they were referring to. Like, I wasn't sure if it was that or if it was... Uh, I don't know. I'm Confucian. Crystal, why do you hate Doc? Everybody loves her. She's hot as fuck. <laughs> Okay, I won't tell you what it is. No no full spoilers, but you will see why Doc is the way she is in Chapter 6. Oh, man, the lore. The lore. Yeah, Star Palace is going along pretty good. Um, most of Chapter 6 is done. Then I'll be moving on to Chapter 7. Um, there's going to be 12 total chapters. There is definitely some uh, critique I have on myself. When it comes to Star Palace, that I had some things I need to work on, but I mean, everybody's always learning. It happens. 
I will fix it in the next project just because, you know, sometimes when you give yourself a set number of chapters and you don't really like outline it first, uh, that can happen. <laughs> May. <laughs> I don't know what Doof sent in the chat. What happened? <laughs> yes! Someone got it. My channel name is based off of the Chinese myth of the moon rabbit. <laughs> Uh, I have had mooncakes. I love them. I actually genuinely love mooncakes. Uh, there's a... I forget what it's called now. There, There is an Asian market around the corner from where we used to live. And I had... I'm, I'm really sad, actually, because I lost it in the flood. I had a tin that had mooncakes in it that had changa on it and i love her uh it's it's actually because of the uh the movie over the moon it's one of my favorite movies ever if you haven't seen it yet please go watch it uh i, I really love that movie the music is fantastic the animation's great changa is beautiful also jade rabbit's really cool and there's a really really cute little other bunny in there and i love them all I love the moon rabbit myth, and it's it's both Chinese and Japanese because the Japanese uh, look at it as the rabbit who's pounding mochi on the moon. It's really cool. I, I love it. Also, I just love space. Uh, my two like favorite themes of all time are like space and ocean, which is why, um, unfortunately, uh, moon bunny. All, all that stuff was uh, already like copywritten for LLCs, but that's why my company name is Star Rabbit Media. So it's still kind of sticking with it. Actually, you no. tried the other name anyway. I did. I did. <laughs> I did. I tried a few names, so this was the one that uh, wasn't taken yet. Uh, no, actually, my favorite legendary Pokemon is um, Mewtwo, the original. I was very attached to Mewtwo. I also really love Mewtwo. If Mew Mewtwo is so great, where's Mewtwo 2? Well, there's a Mew. There's Mew and Mewtwo. Yes, thank you, May. Oh my there's god, the Mew music 3. is so good. And Circus. Yeah, you're right. And Circus. You're right, you're right. Uh, Mooncakes are so good. They are definitely a little bit of an acquired taste. Um... I grew up eating a lot of different cultured foods because uh, I was lucky enough to have a mom who liked to experiment and, you know, get to try different foods of different cultures. Um, so usually one of the one of the fillings of mooncakes will be like red bean paste. Some of the other ones will have white lotus paste. Uh, some of them will have egg yolks in the middle. That definitely is not a taste that I like. So I would kind of eat around the egg yolk and not eat that part. Um, but the, the outside of it's really good. The other fillings are always really good. They're, they're really sweet, but they're not like overly sweet. Like a lot of American desserts are. I love them. Now I want some. Ugh. Yeah, I think honestly, uh, cause I'm being asked what my favorite mooncake filling is. I'd, I'd say the Lotus. The Lotus is my favorite. It's really good. I'm assuming neither of you have tried one. No. Yeah. No. It's all good. Yeah, I had to hide them in my room too. I really hope they bring the Chang up uh, tins back this year because I want I want my tin back. I was keeping my um my washi tape and stuff inside of it. Um, but yeah, I had to like hide them in my room because they did have a little bit of peanut oil in them, and Mango is deathly allergic to peanuts, so it is contraband in this household. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen recipes for mooncakes. They are very time consuming. I would like to try to make some in the future, but I kind of have to wait for like funding to uh, even out a little bit first. And I just want to watch over the moon. <laughs> Oh god, it's been so long since I've seen Puka. I 
I think I I only used oh, to catch Fuka, it every once in a while. Isn't that that weird? Huh? What, what show I think it is? Oh god. The one with the girl who's constantly chasing the guy. Uh. Is that it's that weird like kind of Asian style cartoon? Yeah. Made in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And none of them talk like ever. They just make little noises. I used mm -hmm. to watch that. I don't remember a damn thing about it, but I know. I remember the theme song. Yeah, I just remember the intro. That's. <laughs> Memes are stuff noodles. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's part of the theme song. Uh, no, he's not supposed to. They're not supposed to be the headless horsemen. Uh, they're just a pumpkin head. There's lots of pumpkin-headed characters and, like, uh, scarecrows and stuff like that. If they were the Headless Horsemen, they would be carrying a pumpkin instead. <laughs> Mirage could be a red bean mooncake because they're red, or a black sesame because they're bitter. Yeah. Yeah, I think Puka was made in Canada. explains why it was a uh, weird mm. Canada moment. <laughs> Thank you, Canada. <laughs> Let me double check it uh, the two just to be on the safe side. Ah, uh, it was not made in Canada. It was produced in South Korea. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a South Korean. I swear I remember seeing Canada. Hmm. Well, the more you know. Oh, it's half Canadian. Uh, it was okay. partially made by Studio huh. B Productions, later known as DHX Media Vancouver, which is a Canadian animation studio. And then it was also made by Bazooka, which is uh, South Korean. So, What the fuck kind of team up? Let's take uh, South I mean, Korea and uh, Canada. That shit happens all the time. Like, look at Code Lyoko. <laughs> that was a combo between Japan and France. The hell? Yeah. Have you never seen Code Lyoko? No. Oh, God, I loved that show. Uh, so Jack from uh, Return to Oz was one of the inspirations for uh, Mirage's outfit uh there was also a character from i don't remember what the character's name is but it's from neil gaiman's sandman comic who's also a pumpkin head they're just a generic pumpkin head hey don't call them generic how dare you okay fine they're a special pumpkin head there you go yeah no more slender in my presence <laughs> i have never played pikmin before have you guys nope yep pikmin Pikmin. No. Never. I wouldn't mind trying to play the new game, but I don't even know if it's coming out on PC. Probably um, a Switch. Yeah, honestly, my first priority is going to be getting the full version of Paleo Pines when it comes out. Yeah. Yes! Oh, Molly! Obon Star Racers! I was fucking obsessed with that for a little while. I had... But tiny me had a thing for Prince Ika, okay? I... Hmm... <laughs> I loved that show. Also, the, the opening was a fucking banger. Snow Fox says we love our pumpkin head mirage. Good. <laughs> Nova says they're G Knight Rick. <laughs> Instead of G Knight Rick. <laughs> <Rick. laughs> yes, Molly agrees on the Prince Ica love. Ika was fantastic. Also, like, Molly was a little annoying at first. She's, like, the main protagonist. But then she actually gets better. Like, she stops being annoying. She grows into a really good character. And I liked that. <laughs> Nova says, yeah, I know. It was a stretch. Sue me. No, it's fine. It was funny. I got where you were going. Yes, he did. He rode like a giant beetle. It was really cute, actually. I think it was, I think it might have been blue. 
I'm gonna Google it. Because I loved him and he's worth it. Oh, let's see. Prince Ica. Where is it? Where's your where's your beetle? Come on. Yes, it was a giant blue and white beetle with like little brown leggies. Very cute. I'll send a picture in the chat so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There's a little beetle. <laughs> Big boy. Currently voiced by Kirby Morrow in English. Who is that again? I have no idea. Oh. Oh, is he dead? Molly says R.I.P. to him. <laughs> Looking at, well, I looked him up before apparently. <laughs> His name is fucking Kirby. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Moroku and Inuyasha. Huh. Oh, Inuyasha, that's flashbacks for sure. Oh, he died in 2020. Okay. He fucking loves Ninjago, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I mean, hey, if you're making money, do it, right? <laughs> oh, uh, I don't like Yashihime. I, I haven't even really watched it, but I, I really don't like the fact that they had Shishomaru actually get together with Rin because she was, like, not even ten when he started courting her, and that's just icky. And they have a kid in Yashihime, and I'm not okay with that. Japan? Uh, it's worse than the usual Japan moments, at least normally, like, it's teenagers. This was just, like, straight up a child. I've never seen any, like, Ninjago stuff, but I've seen a lot of people pop up on Twitter drawing shipping art. Oh, gross, they have twins. Yeah, no. Ugh. Wait. Sorry, Molly, are you talking about someone from Inuyasha or Fizz? Because I actually, I have an entire video on the headcanon that he's asexual. <laughs> uh, ah, Sashomaru, okay. Mm, I don't know, because so at the end of the Inuyasha anime, I forget what exactly he brought her. I believe it was a really, really fancy kimono. Um, in their culture, especially in that time frame, the gifts that he was bringing her were specifically courting gifts. So it, it wasn't just like, oh, this is a child I've been taking care of and I'm bringing her a nice thing. No, it was it was literally like he was already starting the process of trying to get together with her while she was like nine. <laughs> oh, did our music stop? 
No, still got a little longer. Phew. Uh, I mean, if you're curious, Fairy, you can go watch my video. There's a there's a whole lot that I explained about that. Yeah, the real one. Robo one's dead. <laughs> yeah, Shishamaru is at least 500. He's very, very old. Even if he wasn't, like, 500, his body is, at minimum, like, the equivalent of at least a 21-year-old. Oh, aggressively tight. Yeah, I was typing. Oh, there is a possibility that Doof might join us. No guarantees. Yeah! But there's a possibility. That's why I was typing. Yeah! <laughs> I type fast. Quick, end the stream. No. <laughs> no. It's been an hour. End, end, end. No. Sorry, guys. We got to go. Time to end the stream. No. Something came up. No, we're not. Why are you lying? What? You're lying. I'm we not lying. End. It's time to end. No. No. Uh. Yep. <laughs> no. No. Uh. I'm just a speedy typer, and I, it, when I get really into it, I type more aggressively, as uh, Gina has heard when I've been typing res responses to our roleplays. Yeah. I <laughs> just, like, slap the keys. The worst part, uh, Callan, is that since you tweak your microphone that one night when we were watching movies we'd read, you type so loud when we roleplay that your microphone picks, picks up your typing, like, in intervals. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, it'll be typing. Stop. Typing. <laughs> oh, I have not watched Go Domans yet, Fox Animations. I would like to uh, at some point. Um, I know it's a good series, and also I love me some David Tennant. I think his, his contacts look really weird, but... I love him, and I would love to see him as Crowley. I never even got to read the book, actually. Someone lent it to me, and then they took it back before I could read it. <laughs> Currently, all of my time has been taken up watching stuff with uh, Du Bois here, because we're going through the entire MCU. They got, Marathon. like, nine movies left, right? Something like that. Something like that. And then season two of Loki is coming out, so we got a lot of, of show stuff to go through. Loki and One Division. And Falcon. Why? Because that one Falcon. goes over uh, Falcon becoming Captain America. It does. And again, it's only like six episodes. <laughs> All right. Grow up. <laughs> I don't want to. Don't want to. Too bad. <laughs> Shauna says, I never understood why they decided to make animes about the child of characters from previous series. Yashihime and Boruto are examples that I can think of. I think it's just because the creators love their world so much that they don't want to let it go. Which I can understand. But you kind of run out of ideas when you do stuff like that. It can be done right. It can. Um, th there are some times where it comes across as a bad fan fiction, uh, and sometimes it comes across very well. So it just kind of, it depends on the writer themselves and, like, what their skill level is on that. I'm jealous of your wonderful typing skills. Um, it's because I typed nonstop uh, ever since I was given a computer... Uh, when I was younger, uh, my, my uncle actually basically refurbed an old laptop of his at one point and gave it to me and I was glued to that thing because it was pretty much my only, um, 
contact with the outside world, and I discovered role-playing, and I just never stopped typing. <laughs> how old are the bots physically? Like, how long have they been on this mortal plane? Oh, okay, that's a good question. Um, I've actually been thinking about that. So, Mirage is roughly, like, five years old-ish. Uh, when it comes to, like, how long they've been active. Uh, Zabby's actually technically the youngest in this case, uh, because he's the newest, so he's only about two years old. The and then is dead. <laughs> yeah, and then Fairy's about, like, three and a half, like, basically right in the middle. And then Thaki, I want to say Thaki's about, like, six years old. He, he is an older, an older model. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Old fucker. <laughs> Group people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy over here typing. Why? Oh, Fruits Basket. Yeah, they, they revamped Fruits Basket because the original one didn't really stick. Uh, it didn't really stick with the original manga because it was one of those ones where they made the anime before the manga had the chance to finish. So there was like a whole thing where like a character's gender got messed up. Uh... And, like, a whole... Uh, Fruits Basket also had some really, like, skeevy age stuff and relationship stuff in general, which is sad. Because it was one that I liked when I was younger. I had the entire box set. I actually had autographs from the voice actors. Like, uh, I know I had Laura Bailey. I had Jer Jerry... I forget what his last name is. Kyo. I had Kyo's uh, autograph. I had... Jerry Mandarin. Now... Uh, I had, oh god, I'm forgetting what his name is, Yuki's older brother. I had a bunch of them. I had, I had a bunch of those signatures on the DVDs. Um, I loved that show. Halloween-esque time. What's the most scary slash creepy thing the bots have done? Uh, so I think you're, you're also remembering their original canon. Um, the only one that's really all that spooky in this canon is Mirage. And it's it's not anything too horrible. It's just that they're kind of creepy and they unnerve people. <laughs> Jerry Jewel, thank you. Thank you. Uh, a fun fact, I brought Jerry Jewel a small thing of fire whiskey at one point because uh, I was friends with Rich, who was the guy who ran Anime Vegas, and he was really good friends with Laura Bailey and Jerry Jewel. And apparently Jerry always required for there to be whiskey at the events as, like, just one of his requirements whenever he would come. Um, Alcoholic moment. Yeah, yeah. So I, I brought him whiskey. <laughs> Ayame, Eating thank you. into the alcoholism. Yes, Ayame, <laughs> voiced by Chris Sabat, the, the one who turns into a snake. I love him. Such a fucking weirdo. I love him. Old just like people. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Mirage creepy? Nah, but we love creepy things in this house. We really do. I, I love spooky things. I'm so excited for Halloween Horror Nights to come this year. Uh, Doof wants to try and come out and visit, and we're going to go to Halloween Horror Nights together again. I love Halloween. Actually, Reed, when you and I go to Disneyland, they might have the Halloween decorations up. Um, I'm really hoping that they have Haunted Mansion open, um, because there's a possibility that it might actually be under refurbishment for them to turn it into the Halloween Christmas thing, which is Nightmare Before Christmas themed. Ooh. I want to see it. See, I'm actually very lucky when it comes to Halloween being longer because I basically live in theme parks. Um, Halloween season does start sometimes in August. Uh, usually starts at the beginning of September. So I get September all the way through the end of October as Halloween, because it's just all over the place. I 
mean, I don't really mind if you guys make content for the FNAF canon as long as people realize that that's really not canon anymore and the characters have shifted away from those original versions. Like, I know a lot of people are still kind of clinging on to Zavi being Yandere, and he's really not because that was entirely the glitch. It wasn't his actual personality. Yes, we have all seen Nimona. I forced these two to watch Nimona with me. Yep. <laughs> I cried. But yeah, like, I kind of prefer, like, for people to stick with the normal Star Palace canon, but I also can't really control everybody, so... It's also funny because literally Fairy, Taki, and Savvy were both originally FNAF OCs. Yeah. <laughs> People are clowning on got... modern for now. Oh, what'd you say, Reed? They got ripped of their rights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were made better. They were improved. Upgrades, people, upgrades. <laughs> Yeah, I know a lot of people are getting really, like, nasty about FNAF. Like, yeah, Security Breach is not necessarily the best game in the world, but it's still fun. It still has its positive aspects to it, and I feel like a lot of people just get too mean about it. Like, just have fun with it. Yep, that's true. Mirage is the only bot who was solely made for Star Palace. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, people are gonna get down on basically anything. It's just how it goes. <laughs> oh no, FNAF being silly and goofy and weird never happened before. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I do have a few complaints about Ruin, but overall, like, I, I am actually happy that it is scarier than Security Breach. Um, honestly, I, I really only have two actual complaints. One was that the horrible slippy do area without any sort of clue about how you're supposed to get through it. Um, and then just the fact that the actual animatronics really aren't that much of a threat. It kind of feels like they're just a cameo. Like, you can run past them pretty quickly. And I, I kind of wish they were a little bit more of a threat. Uh, thank you, Fox Animations. Belt. Stay strapped. <laughs> Gotta snatch that waist. Give. Why do you need to draw Zappy in a baseball uniform? Why are my neighbors thunking again? 
They were quiet for a hot um, minute. Because they can. <laughs> it's a free country. Legit sounded like they were throwing each other on the ground before. God damn. Oh, thank you, Shauna. We're, we're all trying our best here. <laughs> you never just thunk in your spare time? <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. Yeah, we're doing we're doing pretty good with Star Palace, honestly. Uh, we're we're basically halfway through the story because it is going to be twelve chapters long. I've got it all outlined just to kind of make it easier. It's just hard getting it, you know, into words. Like, you can picture things in your mind as much as you want, and then it's like, how do I write this eloquently? Uh. Excuse me. Yeah, I need to make some more writing videos. I need to make more videos in general, especially like to cover the time that I'm out with Reed. <laughs> Gone. Yeah, that's pretty much just how writing is, Molly. Like, I, I thought there was something, like, wrong with me at first, and then I started seeing all the writer's memes, and I'm like, oh, we're all like this. Music is more chill than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's good, though. Ah, uh, they're saying they love the drawing, G Knight. Thank you. So talented. Sometimes. Always. Yeah, I do feel like Mirage would like Coraline. I, f I love Coraline. Reed won't watch it with us. That's right. Look at those pretty eyelashes. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, G Knight Numcat Animatronic wants to know what your favorite and least favorite part of the drawing process is. 
Uh, ooh, that's a hard one. Um, Isn't your least favorite line art? Yeah, it takes so long. <laughs> like, it's satisfying once you see it all done. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those scenarios where it's either gonna turn out really good or, or you're gonna be like, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> So it's 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 a, it's like a it's a gamble for me. Like most of the time, I'll be happy with it, and then there'll be times where it's like, you know, it's done. I don't really like it, but it's done. Mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, oh, my favorite part. My favorite part is probably sketching or coloring. Coloring, is very fun. Mm. Uh, Nova says, "What's the story behind the print? Like, is it just how the characters trick or treat, just bursting through people's doors, demanding candy? Are they going to a party? It's kind of just for fun." Uh, it was originally going to be them going trick-or-treating, and then I decided to go the horror aspect because it's just, it's just fun. It's Halloween. It's time to be spooky. <laughs> Everyone wants to know why Reed doesn't want to watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, everyone wants to know why you don't want to watch Coraline. Because I don't. It doesn't interest me. I had a nightmare about it once, even though <laughs> I've never <laughs> It's also because you don't like... which yeah. I don't really care for. Mm -hmm. I love stop motion. <clears throat> the only claymation movie I was able to tolerate was that new uh, Pinocchio movie. Oh, I love that movie. Yes. It's so good. So good. Who would be the other mother? Probably Zabby. <laughs> Don't die. Don't do it. So they're breaking into my house for fun, pretty much. Who would have won that? <laughs> Y'all totally want these guys breaking into your house. Absolutely. Savvy, you can stay outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Too bad, bitch. <laughs> he can wait in the porch. <laughs> no. Yes. Nope. Coming in whether yeah. you like it or not, you can cry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Boo hoo, wah wah. Nova says, I just realized that stop motion is an oxymoron. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've seen the house. I liked the first two pieces of it. The last one I wasn't super fond of, but the first two stories were really great. I, I know that like the last one is supposed to be about like breaking free, but I don't know, it just didn't hit as well. Uh, May wants to know what the scariest what? nightmare any of us have ever had. I have probably forgotten about it. Yeah, it's just kind of a mood, actually. Reed, do you remember yours? Uh, no. Which is good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather not. watched Unicorn Wars. Uh, I saw the first one. I haven't really yes. gotten to watch the rest of it, though. Yeah, no. you've seen it? I have. I would like to watch more. I did really enjoy it, honestly. Oh, thank you. Someone said bless you to me. Calergies. Mm 
I have no idea what that is, Molly. Dead End Paranormal Park? Yeah, I've never heard of that. Time for Google. <laughs> That's the one with the weird Pugsley Alex Brightman dog. Yeah, I've never seen it, but I know that Alex Brightman's in it. I do not know what Murder Drones is. Murder Drones is that other project that Michael is in. Oh, Michael's he in so many that, things. He played. It's the other popular one. Either. Uh oh. The robot and one. Oh, I've seen like pictures here and there. I've I haven't seen anything more of it than that. Yeah, I have no interest in seeing it. Part of me wants to play Billy Bust Up, but I also kind of look at it and it's just like it's it's a mixture of a hat in time and uh no straight roads. But I also don't know when that game is ever going to come out because it's they've been talking about it for like two years now. They're chugging along, though. I saw a really cool uh, video drop of one of the boss battles. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we've seen the Lackadaisy Season 1 trailer. I have been posting non-stop about Lackadaisy's uh, backer kit, because I want everyone to go look at it. They're almost there. Actually, I wonder if I could uh, double check on yeah. that super fast. Let's see. Oh, they're so close! They're at 984,950, so they're, they're about to be like 15k oh. away. Yes. Pay pal me one million dollars. Oh, I'm so happy for them. The the creators of Lackadaisy have been working so hard on that. Just it's for like 17 years. Like I'm so mm -hmm. so happy that this is falling into place for them. This is fantastic. Need more cats. Mm -hmm. Love the kits. Absolutely. Give. Give more. <laughs> I seriously just cannot wait to see Lackadaisy succeed in every way, shape, and form. <laughs> Ugh, sorry. Nova says, I don't know why, but I just thought of a unicorn a unicorn that enjoys screeching random onomatopoeias to heavy metal. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, I, I will be screaming about their backer kit until they hit the one mil. They're so close. They are. Speed it up. Let's go. Come on. Oh, I'm so, so ready for them to hit it. It's so cool. And it's also just really inspiring to see, like, somebody else reach their dreams, you know? Yeah. Ooh, they hit 985. Time for me to do a quick posty post. I gotta. Tweeted. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, bye, Shauna. Goodbye. Goodbye. Enjoy the next 24 hours. <laughs> Uh, what were our favorite books as children? I just read, a, a, like, the entire Goosebumps series. Um, I also really, really liked Martin the Warrior and Dragon Home. What about you guys? Uh... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't read a lot as a kid, but uh, I I remember I I, I oddly enjoyed Animal Farm a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I was I was just like, this is neat. <laughs> <laughs> Animals. Animal what Farm. It's like you? fucking mm. fucking Germ Germany, <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> Soviet Union with animals. <laughs> <laughs> All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Reed? I have always hated reading. The only book I've ever wanted to read all the way through was The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Oh. Mm. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah the, the only book. To... Go ahead. I was going to say, the, I tried to do the next book after that and I just couldn't get into it like I could the first one I don't know why I don't know what happened hmm. <laughs> Fox I'm refusing to call Twitter X I'm not doing it it's stupid we're not doing that around it's here so it's not gonna happen uh uh it is forever Twitter I will say though um I was surprised to uh find a couple of books that we were required to read in school that I really liked um obviously I loved The Great Gatsby but there was one, um, I would like to reread it at some point, but it was called The Island of the Blue Dolphins. And it was like, I don't remember why. Yes, blue dolphins and I, blue skies and green grass. No, uh, <laughs> the, it was a native girl who was like left on an island alone uh, because I forget, I forget what happened, but like her tribe either left or was taken or something. And she, she was just living there by herself, and so all she had for comfort was watching the blue dolphins, and she was, like, putting together a necklace out of shells, and it was just, I don't know, I just really liked it. Oh my god, the communist farm animals. Yes. It was the only book that, uh, my teacher made us read that I actually enjoyed. Mm-hmm. We also watched the movie when they made us read it. Yeah, we watched the, the live action movie, and that was horrifying. Oh, fuck. We watched the cartoon. Yeah, no, no <laughs> the, the, car the cartoon is definitely a lot more tame than the live action. <laughs> okay, but you know what other cartoon uh, is, is terrifying, but I loved? Watership mm. Down. Of course it did. Yeah, I also even kind of liked the newer computer animated version. Like... There were definitely flaws in the, in the animation, but I still liked it. Also, if I you... was traumatized with Watership Down. <laughs> if you ever want to cry, uh, there's a movie called Plague Dogs. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Scholastic Book Fairs. I remember those. I missed those. Those were just fun. I was never allowed to buy anything, though. I never had money to buy anything, so it was kind of just you go. I never had money either. I just walk around and be like, hey, what's yeah. this with that? You go, you walk around, you, you smell the books. <laughs> Whiff. Look, the books, like, fr like brand new, fresh <laughs> book smell is uh, is amazing, okay? I, I also loved smelling the books in the, uh, the borders that I used to go to, Rest in Fucking Pieces borders, uh... Because it also had the smell of like the coffee from the Seattle's best coffee place uh, mixed in with the with the the ink, it smelled so good. I used to sit there and read manga, and I would just sniff it. Yeah, see, books do smell good. I'm not weird. I'm not weird. I mean, that's fine. I, 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 I literally took a whiff out of every single PC part that I've been ordering. Just, <laughs> oh, it's, it's, you know, it smells brand new. You know what else smells great? What? Gasoline. 
<laughs> no. Yes, dude. Oh, God, no. Oh, dude, the smell when you when you go to a gas station and then you <laughs> open your car door is just take a big old wave out of there. It just was so good, man. <laughs> you know so what else good. smells great? Spray paint. Yes. <laughs> It does. Kellen, I think I think this is Kellen. I think this is the man thing. Yeah, I was about to say. I think it's a boy thing. Sharpies also smell good. Yes. No, they do. Kellen, they do. There was a time, senior year of high school, I grabbed like seven of like those super wide sharpies. Oh no. Oh. Caps off of all of them, and I was. Under the desk. Oh, <laughs> Did you get mine? We're good. Uh, no. I don't believe you. It's not good. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal says y'all are gross. No, we're men. <laughs> Manly men. We're alpha males. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, I do agree, May. I love the smell of fresh rain. Fresh rain and also, like, the slight smell of burning. Like, when you smell burning wood from a distance, that smells so good. Campfire. Finger cracked. Don't do that. Oh, you mean like. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nova says gasoline only smells good in the right context. For instance, for instance, smelling gas in a building where there shouldn't be gasoline near is a lot less satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's even more satisfying. Like, oh, this place is fun now. <laughs> it's like, wow, I get this sweet smell at home. Let's fucking go. <laughs> You could smell that smell at any point. Just burn down your house. <laughs> burn it. Would you like burn down burnt, your burnt marshmallows, <laughs> perfectly cooked, plain, or none? Wait, what? Would you like perfectly burnt cooked. marshmallows, perfectly cooked, plain, or none? Hey, Doop's here! Yeah! Is yeah. Burnt right? marshmallow smells good. Wait, yeah. what does it do? I said boy actors, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, since you just popped in, I'll repeat the question for you. Uh, which mm -hmm. do you prefer, burnt marshmallows, perfectly cooked, plain, or none? Oh, um, mm, it depends on my mood. Uh, are we talking about like eating it straight, or are we talking about like a s'more? Like eating it straight, I believe. Uh, I'd say like lightly burnt. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, yeah, I was just thinking that when there's some charring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, See, I feel yeah, like, like 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 browning to too burnt. Mm -hmm. I, I'm weird. I actually set the entire marshmallow on fire, blow it out, eat the crispy part off the top, and then set it on fire again. Um, <laughs> please don't judge me. I'm I have not eaten much today, so I'm eating the rest of this pizza that I got for dinner. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. I'm actually gonna turn your volume up just a tiny bit because you're a little quieter than everybody else. Yeah, probably. There we go. Yeah, you're quiet for me right now. I have you at 180. percent I have My you at 200. All the way up, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, skill issue. Turn it up. Everyone's very excited for you to be here, dude. Hello. <laughs> I tried to end end the stream, everybody. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nothing to do now. I want to be with the whole gang. They shut up. <laughs> here, I haven't seen the the full picture. Show show me what you're working oh, on. Oh yeah, right zoom now, out, man. zoom out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Show cock. The Halloween print. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's oh, for the next the Kickstarter. <laughs> yeah, the oh, rabbit. No, 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 <laughs> Man, I'm horrified. God. Mm -hmm. 
Are you okay? No. <laughs> oh, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so oh. stupid. No, stop. It's so stupid. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Uh, uh huh. Mm hmm. Zavi's a vampire. Yeah. Yes. Um, Base. Uh, Mirage is a pumpkin. Yeah. Base. Yes. What, what the fuck is fairy, is fairy supposed to be? Uh, Bride of Frankenstein. It's, oh, yeah. Okay. There's a little, like, zigzag in her hair, and uh, the, ah. the costume that she's wearing is actually a very specific reference to something that the audience does not know yet. I kind of want to see if anyone gets it, but I'll type it to you in chat. Uh, Okay. Mm -hmm. That that wasn't also Gina. That was not. Uh, what are you doing? This is ass. That's just more like <laughs> I I don't I don't I couldn't tell. Like, hey Gina, you fucked up, buddy. <laughs> You're not sending the message. I'm not the messenger. Um, where's the costume? Hold on, I'm getting it. Actually, uh, Doof, have you seen the stickers yet? No. Oh, are we? Oh. <laughs> no, oh yeah yeah. Oh. Kellen, do you, you want to show that? Do you wanna... are, we, are we allowed to show that? Yeah. I was going to say, do you want to send them? Or can mm. I, can I show them? You can show them because I, I, I was going to show them the actual Kickstarter at the end. Uh, and it's it's been okay, shown good, good. in... Need... <laughs> yeah, go for it. Go for it. Because I also need to just grab the colors. Uh -huh. So it's Mirage. And ah, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> is that, um, is that perchance uh, a little bit of a reference to a certain pumpkin-headed uh, lady? Yeah. Perhaps. Actually, no. Oh, that character? No. Not a pumpkin headed lady. No. No. Nah, it's a mm. reference to two oh, other pumpkin heads. pumpkin heads. Yeah. I just saw farmer and pumpkin. <laughs> and then yeah. here's fairy and Taki. Mm hmm. And then this one's completely different, but it was too much with Shora, but here's seven yeah. Shora. John Snow. <laughs> John Snow. Oh. John Snow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, if I sent you the reference image of uh, the oh, specific, see. yeah. Uh huh. I missed that show. Oh, is that? Uh -huh. <laughs> is what? That was so quiet. What? <laughs> dude, I I fucking love. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it is a reference. I love references. <laughs> but what you should Especially consider, Molly, is that tortilla. the name Doofkin implies that there is an entire race of these creatures and that our Doof is their leader. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm the captain of the ship. I run this city now. <laughs> Do not reference him here. <laughs> <Peasant>. <laughs> fucking dare you. But yeah, that's why her, her costume looks a little unconventional. It's because it was it was the thing that gives me happiness, and I don't know if anyone else is going to get it. Oh, it's very, it's very cute. Mm hmm Mm, delicious lines. Slippery. 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 Don't snore. So, Doof, have you impulse bought the uh, studio bricks yet? Uh, no, I don't have. The, I don't have the rest of the money. I have half of it. I have half of it. I do. I, I checked and I have like I think. Uh, so I'm not trying to talk finances here, but I have like 3,700 left in my old college account. So I'm. Uh, it's just sitting there. It's not being. It's not being used for anything. So that's gonna be used for like, one half of that booth, and the other. I don't know where the fuck it's gonna come from, but it's gonna come. <laughs> if I have to rob it's gonna a man. Do porn. Um, <laughs> no. You want money? Yeah. Do porn. <laughs> I'm not confident in my body, Reed. You know a certain <laughs> fan base that would love some porn of a specific character. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, Specifically I'm, me. I'm opening up NSFW commissions uh, in um, <laughs> five minutes. Now. Uh, three, sl three slots available, $200 each. Get your fill. Yeah! <laughs> Time to send you money. <laughs> For a small fund of $3,000, yeah, we well, get 30 <laughs> seconds of 
uh, audio. Yes. You want you want better audio? Pay up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start um, recording Mirage's lines in a wind tunnel now, just to spite you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just like the audio will improve when you pay me what I need. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that uh, I was actually going back and listening to my old recordings from Casting Call Club, like whenever I first started voice acting. First of all, they were all ass. Like I didn't know shit about voice acting. I I, I had done acting before for years, but voice acting was a whole different breed and it was terrible. But also like I had a blue Yeti microphone that sounded like complete dog water um, in an untreated room. Um, like you could hear all the reverberation every time that I even like raised my voice above like three decibels. You know, I... I have a similar thing like that. It's weird. I had my other booth for so long, but uh -huh. it's so weird. I listened to the first couple of recordings made in it, and then a, like the last couple, and they sound completely different, even though it's the same fucking space. Really? <laughs> like, what happened? I remember you being like, uh, it's not that noticeable in, in the recording, and then you sent it to me, and I was like, no, it's completely noticeable. Like, the noise floor alone is just, like, fucking insane. Also, sorry, what we're happened? swearing a lot for YouTube Live. We're going to be demonetized. It's fine. Care. I don't make any money on this channel right seconds. now anyway. It's fine. I, yeah. Okay. I, I think I'm at uh, the possibility of $14 this month. So swear away. I've already been doing it. <laughs> you can get Subway. <laughs> you get Subway. Well, no, I won't even get it because they won't pay you unless you've made 100 in a month. So it just kind of adds up uh -huh. slowly. I know. That's why you send threats to YouTube and they'll, they'll, they'll get <laughs> that fixed up. <laughs> hey, Susan. She's not we should start going. Do you, okay, when do you think we're gonna get a YouTube creator strike? Oh. <laughs> never. Probably never because of the fact that it, it would impact indie creators they're, way too much. They're also just not unionized. Yeah. Um, they do. Uh, I think SAG though does cover um, influencers. Oh. They like like uh, SAG has like an influencer branch or something like that. Something That's that kind of cool. Yeah, so um, influencers, if you're out here doing movies, uh, you're you're crossing the picket line. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's something Mark was talking about about his Iron Lung movie. Mm. Oh really? Like, yeah, I have a trailer. I can't fucking post it yet because of the strike. Oh wow! <laughs> He's trying that's to get true. permission. I guess it's like trailer houses and shit like that. Yeah. Studios. Uh, I I did say where they're gonna um, meet with like higher up executives uh, for studios and talk about negotiating a deal. Hmm. Um, Hopefully. Here in like a few days, I think. I, I saw a headline about it. I didn't read into it because I was at rehearsal, but I saw it. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Bless. Oh my God. She that was away from the she have a. She have a. She have a. John Snow. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I completely <laughs> forgot. <laughs> My bad. Wow. <laughs> All right, bro. I wasn't trying to slight you, I swear. <laughs> we got them. Did you do a no-no? Apparently. I forgot. It's been so long since I've done the no-no. <laughs> it's not really Why a no-no. No -no? <laughs> it's so it high quality. Do it again. I wasn't looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, bye friends there's a bunch of people going to sleep now sleep what are you old yes <laughs> <laughs> no no i feel old fucking sleep boomers going fuck to fuck sleep for <laughs> 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 yeah i i Felt I had like such a really bad existential crisis after my last birthday. It was oh no, awful. Hated it. I know it is. 
Yeah. All of I our birthdays are coming up. Yeah. I, sent, I sent you your thing already. I need to see that, actually. Yeah, I don't think you accepted it. I think it's just kind I of... I hit like, accept on my phone, and it was like, if it doesn't work, uh, try on fucking browser, dumbass. If it, if it doesn't work, too bad. Yeah. Is he stupid? Yeah. I'm maybe stupid. Yeah, right here. If the, if the above button doesn't work for you, you may use this link for <laughs> it didn't work because I was on my phone when I said Why are you so quiet? I don't know. What do you want from me? I don't know. Yeah, that was scream. I read perfectly fine. <laughs> scream at the top of your lungs. Here, let me let me let me try some. Oh god. Scream at the top of your lungs. <laughs> <What's> you? <laughs> I'm trying to change shit, and Steam is popping up like, hey, hey, what's up? Hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. Egg. Egg. You have received a gift. Thank you. Decline. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it. It's not like I'm out like 50 bucks. <laughs> there. I hate how Steam looks now. <laughs> oh god. I have like 12 updates. Oh. Yeah, and now you're in the next one. Uh. For all, and you're not going to be able to talk on call anymore. I mean, that's going to suck. It's going to turn into. <laughs> and then you were to say your microphone isn't working, and then you have to say, I know. I, 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 Pissing me off. <laughs> what was it called? Oh, there. <sighs> yeah. Yeah? The fuck is the order of the game, though? Oh. Game of the Year Edition? Wow. What game is it? Batman Arkham Asylum. Ooh. Oh man. I, I got read I got read the Arkham collection for his birthday. That's awesome. Yo. The fucking bitch on the motorbike is back again. <laughs> Wait till you see me on my bike. No. <laughs> I'm be I've been scammed. It says I got Arkham Asylum game of the year, uh -huh. Arkham City game of the year, and just uh -huh. then just Arkham Knight no game of the year. <laughs> uh, Arkham Knight did not win game of the year. Why are these games so fucking big? Oh, it's just the one. <laughs> Yeah, Arkham Knight's really big, but Arkham Asylum and Arkham uh, City are pretty... Because uh, those, those came out on the PS3. And then, Fucking um, 71 gigs, you fat yeah. ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, God. I, let me see if the DLC came with it. I don't think it did. You, you know what? This is great. You're going to have to stream it for us. Ooh. Yeah. I'd be down to watch Reed's first time playing this game. I haven't even games. streamed you Spider-Man yet. Yeah, no, you haven't. <laughs> That's true. You still need to do Spider-Man. we're doing other shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's wrong with you? Where even uh. is my spy? Oh, that's right. It's called my spider <laughs> Refund it. <laughs> yeah, I'd be down, especially after um, I, I know your love for Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill. Kevin who? <laughs> well, not anymore. <laughs> Rest in peace. Mm. Poor guy. I, I, that's one thing I'm mad. I'm mad I'll never get to meet him at a convention now. Aww. Molly says, get me pictures of Spider-Man! Um... Let! <laughs> uh, was, it, was it you and I who were talking? Oh, no, it was me and G-Knight talking about uh, the Mortal Kombat thing. Yeah. Um, where uh, uh, J.K. Simmons is going to be uh, reprising Omni Man. Yes. I'm so fucking uh, excited. My Twitter <laughs> updated. No. <laughs> Not on my phone, on my computer. It says post now instead of tweet. No. Mine, mine's updated everywhere. It's been like that for a few days. I refuse my to update it on my phone. The plug in the extension I got needs to update. I will not call it X. I won't. Never. Never. I refuse. I turned off auto updates on my phone. It's staying the bird as long as I can. Yeah, my phone keeps asking. It's like, are you <laughs> sure? You know you want to update, right? You want to yeah. update this film. I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Get me pictures of Elon Musk's house for no reason. No reason? Nope. Not at all? I just, you know. I want to mail him a cake for the last. Congratulate laughs. him for everything he's doing for the platform. <laughs> I want to send him a nicely worded letter <laughs> mm -hmm. that may or may not include a special present. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Poop in a bag. YouTube, this is a joke. <laughs> Discord, this is a joke. <laughs> we are joking, FBI. CIA, we are joking. FBI. Uh, <laughs> this is joke. a joke. We're doing. We're gonna do it in Minecraft. Oh, Alexa says, downstairs, joke. Numcat says mine updated today. I am sad. No. Oh. Uh, muffin cake kings were so lucky. They still have the bird icon. Muffin cake. I want the bird icon back. Bring it back. Fucking people were pointing out how like tweet and tweeting are like in the Oxford dictionary because it's like such a unique term. Mm -hmm. And then Elon is just fucking shot it in the back of the head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Doesn't exist. What made the app special is gone, like, smartass. Every drop of uniqueness. Gone. Nice. Reduced to atoms. X. A letter of the alphabet. How original. Uh. Oh, permanent smile. We actually cannot say that joke because they will <laughs> they will come after us. Huh? Oh, e uh, mailing Elon Musk a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that, exactly. Yeah, what he said. Oh, that's funny. My Twitter's updating slowly on on my browser. It says post, but it still says retweet. Mm. <laughs> Come on, get with right. the times. <laughs> speed up. Chop chop. I tell it to speed up. I want to milk it. You want to? Well, I want it to speed up so that the extension I have can be like, okay, that now that's true. Also, Jeanette, you heard me. You want to what? I want to milk it. Huh? You want to what? You want what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who was it who were you talking to? Was it you, Callan, who started doing read noises? Just because we did them all the time? Or who the fuck was it? Oh, that... <laughs> Like yeah, whenever you come back from chat, yeah. yeah. I did the same thing with one of my old friends. Mm -hmm. I I very much have adopted some habits that they do whenever they come back and call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. We're fucking we're, like shitting we're, your we're, pants we're, every time. Oh, it's gotten on. weird. Wait, wait, wait! Both of you talked at the same time. What happened? No, we didn't. G night. Repeat yourself. I already forgot. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah. yeah, I forgot it wasn't important. Everybody kind of adopts stuff from each other. Like, uh, G Knight has adopted Doof's thing that you do. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, call out. <laughs> it's fine. I've also adopted uh, G Knight's. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah this is my shit. You can't take it. <laughs> but here's, the, here's the thing, G Knight. You taking that from me, I think I took that from somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing that I took from my friend who I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Not it's not consciously, disease. of course, but it just <laughs> happens. It, it just goes down the chain. Uh -huh. It's spreading. <laughs> Quarantine. Reed knows, now. Reed knows this person. What? Yeah. Who is it? Oh, in, in the crew that we first met in. Oh. Oh, it, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One hundred percent is. I forgot she did that. <laughs> I was about to say, if you don't fix that, I will put an earwig in your pillow. No. What? Bro, there's so many earwigs where I live. I'm sick of it. Yes, the bun is on the bottom. Oh. No. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> 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 
Uh, Sweet Lee Symphonic says the art is really great and they're happy to hear from uh, Reed and Doof again. Oh, my oh. chest. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> 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 what are you, oh. are you having a heart attack, old man? <laughs> <laughs> I coughed. I think something exploded. <laughs> You're so open valve. <laughs> I don't know. I think G Knight's the old man. He's the one that the chat has nicknamed Peepaw. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they <laughs> Who would it, who 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 the fuck? I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to them. I'm gonna send them. All, I'm, I'm gonna talk to them. I'm gonna sit them down, have a talk. <laughs> nobody bullies nobody bullies G Knight like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. What the fuck? Oh, dude, this is a wonderful topic to talk about on uh -oh. streams. Did I tell you about the person who told me to go fuck myself through email? Oh yeah. Uh, no. What? <laughs> Uh -huh. One of my one of my shit posts went live, and it was the one with uh, Fizz and Robo being like, "Yeah, you should like mail the people who send you too many letters pipe bombs." Yeah. And someone took it as like a personal attack on them. <laughs> because yeah. On Twitter, there's this one individual who would constantly DM me every now and then, just spam and shit like, uh -huh. "Can you see this? Oh, do you see my it. messages?" And I just never respond, and they do it every couple of months. Uh huh. And the email I got just said, saw your latest video, uh, go fuck yourself, find the guards, and then whatever their name was. And then I checked that account, and they had me blocked, so I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, it was you! It's fine, the problem took care of itself. Like I said, you're getting too big for your britches, boy. <laughs> like, it had been months since they last tried to DM me. I don't know why they would take that as a personal hit. Oh. If they had just DM'd me, you know, like the previous <sighs> night, sure. But no. I don't think I, I wasn't even you. thinking about them. I didn't tell you about the um the stalker that I have at well no, they're not a stalker, I guess, but they've they've been really creepy towards me at work recently. Oh. Um, oh. so we got a shipment in of uh, of Oh Huggy the Huggy Wuggy, Wuggy girl? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Huggy Wuggy merch uh, came into the store. And she That's comes disgusting. in one day. She comes in one day and she was like, hi, um, I want to hold this until August 1st. And our, our store only has a 24 hour hold period. And I'm like, I can't do that. Cause this was like, I'd say four or five days ago. I'm like, I can't do that. Um, she's like, Oh, okay. Well, I really wanted this. I'm like, okay, sorry. And she leaves. So she comes back, she comes back the next day and she's like, um, okay, let's try this again. Uh, can you hold this till August 1st? I said, are you going to buy it tomorrow? She's like, no. So I'm like, well, then I'm not going to get, I'm not going to hold it for you. <laughs> She's like, oh, oh, okay. Well, I, I really, really want this, and starts like sulking around the store like a five-year-old. I'm just like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, the woman in front of her, who I'm checking out, she's like, oh, she's just tugging at my heartstrings. Uh, I, 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 I gotta get this for her, and I'm like, don't you fucking enable her. I didn't say anything, but I'm like, don't you enable her. Um, so she, uh, she buys it for her. I'm like, okay, if you insist, and she buys it and she leaves comes uh well I, I i go to call my mom about this because it was just like weird i i just stepped out of the store for my break i'm gonna get in the elevator and while i'm saying hey i had an altercation with this weird woman at work i turn around and like so out of a horror movie she is standing three feet away from me staring oh. at me oh. and i back i back again <laughs> like near the elevator while i'm waiting for it and she kind of circles like near my store and then comes back to me where the elevator door is open and uh, I'm standing there. My conversation with my mom has gone completely dead at this point, and I'm like sweating bullets. And she's staring at me, and she goes, "Do you want to be my friend?" What the fuck? And I'm like, "Not particularly." <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I asked. Sorry. And then gets off on the next floor. Um, comes back today. Oh. And says, "And says, hey, can I use your phone?" I said, "You know, you cannot use our phone." Oh, okay. Do you want to be my friend? Uh, what? I'm like, uh, I made it pretty clear last time. No, <laughs> Ver verbatim what I said. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, sorry, sorry for asking. Um, I'm gonna get skinned alive one day. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. They're gonna, they're gonna turn my flesh into a couch or something. Mm. <laughs> but they're gonna like, hit this, you with a you smell different when you're awake. This, oh. this isn't. This isn't the first time this is. It's not. It's not. It hasn't happened to me, but it's happened to my manager. Same girl. 
Oh. Uh, coming has come oh. in there, first asking for the phone, and then just being like a general nuisance. And I don't know why in the last few months she's chosen our store to do that too. But um, I, I I get a lot of weird characters where I work, and I remember our district manager coming down and, and like kind of not believing us at first, and then she saw the state that our store was in, and she was like, "Oh, okay. <laughs> well, um, yeah, just do what you can." <laughs> Mm. Whatever. Suck it up, pussy. <laughs> yeah, like, so it really irks me when adults can't act like adults. I agree. I don't know. Like, I I understand mm -hmm. that some people have like weird, like you know, bad social skills or whatever. Um, but I don't get like reverting to acting like a five year old whenever you don't get your way. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Especially with a customer service person, because it's like I don't make the prices. I can't give you something for free. Because that, that's mm -hmm. what they're doing. Is they were sulking. Uh, trying to get me to feel bad for them so I would give them something for free. I could tell that's what they were doing. Yeah. Because it was like a lot of huffing and puffing and like, oh, I really wanted it. Oh God. You should have done it. You should have been nice. Now look at you. You're a piece of shit. Sometimes <laughs> if somebody has, is like short on change, like I'll spot them like a dollar or something. But like, I'm not I'm not just going to give you uh, a, a toy. I'm, it's not going to happen. Can I please have this $3,000 thing? I, I, I pour, I need it for my family. See, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. What I probably would have done has been like, yeah, sure, I'll hold this for you. What's your name? And then just immediately put it back out on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know that probably sounds horrible, but if she's being that, like, weird about it, just get her off your back. No, it, I, I get what you mean, and I've I, I don't know if I've consciously started doing it, but I've started matching energies with customers, and uh -huh. um, I'm surprised I haven't gotten fired yet, because I get a lot of rude <laughs> customers. <laughs> um, like, I was trying to sign a guy up for our rewards program. The guy's like, uh, you know, like, it help, I'm like, it helps with returns, blah, 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 but I'm like, uh, I'm j judged by my district based on, like, how many people I can sign up. Yeah. Whatever. I don't, I don't care if you do it or, mm -hmm. or not. I mean, I do care, but, like, at the same time, it's like, it's your choice, whatever. Yeah. Um, Bye, Crystal. But I'm like going to I'm going to sign this okay. guy up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sign this guy up, and he's like, um, "Okay." And I'm like, "What's what's your uh, what's your name?" And he's like, "Just put whatever you want." I'm like, "Okay." Uh -huh. So I, I give him, I I, I ask him a zip code. He gives me a zip code, and I'm like, "Okay, now what's your birthday?" He's like, "I'm just trying to buy a shirt, man." Mm -hmm. And so I I block him off from any form of conversation for the rest of the transaction. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to speak to this man, and he gets like really huffy and pissy about it. Yeah, <laughs> oh man, I just remember when I used to work at the Hard Rock Cafe at the Rock Shop, and it was the same oh. thing. We we were supposed to sign them up for the the credit card or the mm -hmm. the mailing the mailing list. That's what it was. It was a mailing list, and we would get like looked down on if we didn't do them enough. And what's funny is there was a girl there, uh, Diane, and Diane would cheat. She would actually uh, make a bunch of fake email addresses and then sign them all up as though she was signing up guests, and then she actually won the trip to uh punta cana because she did that uh wait see we don't get we don't get incentives for doing so we just don't get docked uh or like yelled at mm -hmm. um so we're, we're allowed to um like we're allowed to sign somebody up with a fake email mm -hmm. um but we're just like as long as the other information is there we can be like okay well you know we'll put like so and so name at no mail.com and like a string of numbers yeah um but yeah i that's that's fucked you can't yeah. be doing that. I know people have gotten in trouble for using the same, uh, like the person before this person who they signed up, uh, who they're trying to sign up, will have been in the rewards. And if this person doesn't sign up, they'll go through and they'll put that same person for every transaction that they uh, that they uh, can't get oh. somebody to sign up for. And th people have gotten in a lot of trouble for that. Yeah, that I think sense. that can get you fired. Mm-hmm. Because the company can track that because they can see like uh, the last name on the cards that were used, yeah, and then the rewards things. So they're like, mm, "That's not, that's not good." Yeah. Uh huh. Diane was real sneaky because she would also uh, snipe other people's sales. Oh yeah. Yeah. I have a coworker like that. Yeah. My K my K I remember my KPIs were like fucked one week because my coworker kept like poaching my sales. Mm-hmm. And eventually we had to have like a sit down and talk about it. I'm like, hey, um, whenever I help somebody out, you need to like put that transaction under me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye, May. Bye. 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 Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh god, do you, I hope you know every single time I see a fucking Coco Melon toy, I just think of you screaming it out in the hotel room. 
<laughs> what? The Coco Melon, huh? remember when oh, we were that... we were sitting there like early in the morning getting ready to go to the parks and you just for some reason left Coco Melon on and you just went Coco Melon. Like I just I hear your no, voice every single time. This. You did. You <laughs> Was did. I hung over from the last night? Was I still drunk after <laughs> no, the previous night? You weren't. Uh oh. You were fully sober and we were getting ready. I think it was when we were getting ready to go to Disney. Uh, <laughs> you probably. just you left Coco Melon on while we were getting ready. Oh yeah. I think that's watching it. Well, no, because you turn on cartoon. Because like all all you have um in in those hotel rooms yeah. are Fox News, the Weather Channel, or Cartoon Network. Yeah. And uh, in car because uh, we were we'd be watching. I I'd go to sleep with Adult Swim on. Yeah. And so I'd I'd wake up to like baby shows. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was just like, fuck it, I need some background noise to get ready. But yeah, you just—I just remember you screaming out "Coco Melon" in a high-pitched <laughs> voice. So... Waking up the neighbors at like six a.m. and we're trying to make gate. I wouldn't kill to hear to that. <laughs> we'll, we'll have a round two soon. <laughs> yeah, this time there won't be a TV though. Oh, you know, fuck. Because you're crashing in my room. Yeah. I totally forgot. Yep. Like when yep. that fucking uh, one tweet comes up with that. The Pikachu. I repressed Coco Melon for my. No, I, I just, I genuinely just have a really shit memory. Talk to any of these fuckers here. I can't retain shit. Hey, I, I feel that. I relate. Um, I'll, I'll be like, hey, did I tell you this? And they're like, yeah, you told me yesterday. And I'm like, oh, sorry. I, Listen here, like, fuck it. You told me this six times already. Yeah, yeah and I, and that's the thing is, I've, I've done that a lot, but I'm just like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't remember. Did we tell everybody the the bloody handprint story in our hotel? Oh, I don't think oh. so. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, we we can tell the audience. Um, so. It's fine. They Duke, murdered someone. <laughs> Duke came to visit. Uh, I picked them up from the airport, and uh, we technically checked into the hotel, but we didn't actually find our room first because we were running to Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> we got absolutely drenched. We were both like wet and miserable. I was so cold, like that it hurt. So I just wanted. I got a trench foot. Oh yeah, you did. Oh. You did. Um, I I just wanted a shower. That's all I wanted. And so we tried to go to the hotel, and we found out we weren't in the nice portion of the hotel. We were in the shitty motel portion off <laughs> in the, on the other side. So we went over there, and we go into our room, and I always check the beds for bed bugs because I've been taught to do that by my roommate, who is an ex exterminator. And as I'm pulling up the sheets to check for bed bugs, there is a bloody handprint, like half of a handprint on one of the mattresses. Oh. Huh. Yeah, and so we had to call the front desk and the phone was awful. So as I'm trying to listen to this woman, it's just <laughs> the whole damn time. And uh, I was like, can we switch rooms? There is like a bloody handprint here. And she was like, I need to send someone to go check it out. And it's so we have to- a security guard for like yeah. an hour. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you don't believe me? Good. What you think I'm lying? Mm -hmm. I I think I had, I had like given up and I was about to just take a shower anyway. And as soon as I got my pants down, she came. So, so yeah, I had she to... was like, mm -hmm. she wasn't friendly either. She yeah, was she like wasn't. really upset that she had to be there. Yeah, uh, she was upset. You're making me do my job. Yeah, until I showed her the bloody handprint, and then she was like, "Oh, <laughs> I'll be right back." And then she just left. <laughs> <laughs> And then she came back and brought us another key, and we just scooted, like, I think it was, like, two or three rooms down, and then that one was fine. Also, there was, like, weird specking on some of the mattresses. There was. There, were, there wasn't any signs of bed bugs other than the specking. Yeah. Was, I didn't like it. Yeah. It was very uncomfortable. It was like bed bugs had been there at some point, even if they weren't there then. Yeah. I was I was honestly surprised that they didn't move us to, like, a different, um, like, the, the other section of the hotel. They just mm -hmm. said, okay, we're going to move you a few doors down. Yeah. Oh, okay, Maybe we have told the story before. It. It's fine. I told it again. <laughs> yeah, deal with it. <laughs> Wait, no. Yeah. Oh, um, so, uh, did I, I don't know if I posted in, in the group chat or if I sent it to read. Again, really bad short-term memory. <laughs> um, but uh did reed tell you like what i was doing and why i was late and like me about to fucking murder the people i work with no I oh didn't. no <laughs> yeah so uh, i'm direct i'm assistant directing a uh, shakespeare show uh -huh. for uh local theater mm -hmm. and we're two weeks out 
mm -hmm. from uh, from opening. So like we're we're now like running the full show uh, starting tomorrow, mm -hmm. and we've been like running the last few acts recently. And these uh, these actors, they don't like to learn their lines in the off in their off time. They oh. don't like to uh, they don't like to oh, um, commit on their end of the deal. <clears throat> and um, I can tell like some people are like really doing well in their off book, and others who I thought would be like the not problem children of mm -hmm. the group are now like flubbing up really fucking badly. Oh no. Um, and my director and I are about to squeeze the light life out of them. And I told them before I left, I said, you have um, until after Wednesday to learn your lines. Um, and after Wednesday, if you are not off book, that's on you and you're going to have to find it. And if you can't find it, you are not allowed to grab your script. Ooh. Um, I'm throwing them to the fucking wolves on Thursday and they better be prepared for it. They're going to have to find their lines and they will be embarrassed. <laughs> yep. Um, ha it's happened to me before. I've been that person one time, and I learned from it. Um, <laughs> uh, for those of you Murder. who don't work in um, entertainment, actors suck. Don't ever work with actors. <laughs> You're doing two different productions right now, aren't you? No. Oh, okay. I thought you were doing two for no, some reason. I, no, I'm doing one. Um, and then I'm uh gonna be work. I'm gonna be costuming for one in. Uh. Um, December, I think. Okay, that's what I was remembering. I remember two of something. I just didn't know what was what. Yeah. Um. They're uh, I, they're really enjoying my um, my stage managing. So I I think I'm gonna have more jobs in the future, Yay. which is nice. Yay. But uh, it's <sighs> actors. Snow Fox says, "Sorry, Doof, that stinks." It's fine. One had a meltdown tonight. Oh, yeah? Um, oh, great. Cause, well, because they were... Uh, I was feeding them lines because they'd ask for a line, and I'd give them that. And then they'd say it, and then they'd ask for a line again. Mm. And I'd give them the next line, and this would go on and on. And I said, do you want to just grab your script? And they had, like, a full emotional meltdown and started crying and, like, had to leave the stage. Um, And, like, I get it. It's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. But, like, ugh, man, it was, like... It's it's one of those things where I feel bad from mm -hmm. an actor's perspective. Yeah. But as a state for, for as a stage manager, it is so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> not not them freaking out. I get it, but like not having your shit together. Yeah. Ugh. I I feel that. Yeah. People who commit and don't uh, do the work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, none of you guys. I have no complaints about anyone in this chat. <laughs> At all. Yippee. You guys are fantastic. Don't lie. I'm not lying. Oh, I'll drink to that, bro. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Real quick, I am going to have to disappear in like eight minutes because my food's ready. It's all good. Okay. How dare you have to okay. eat? Hold on. How dare you eat with your family? <laughs> Hold on. Is that what the rest of this, uh, like, 11 minutes are going to be? <laughs> it could be. I don't know how I made that noise. I never made that noise before. Hey, hey, Nova. Nova has returned and is happy that Doof is here. Hello. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Reed. Uh, that's, that's you talking about making those ungodly noises. Um, my dog uh, that we just, you know, had to put down, um, she did that one time. It made the most, like, I'd never heard a noise come from a creature like that before, <laughs> oh. and she, I, I picked her up by like her chest, and I guess like the air expelled from her, and she went. <laughs> um, but I, I, I can't, I can't replicate it. This was like years ago, but um, I have never heard this noise out of a creature before or since. Um, and I really wish I could have gotten a recording of it because it was, it was unhinged. <laughs> oh God! You need to eat to maintain this mortal flesh skill issue. I haven't Lamar. worked out the kinks yet. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Maybe one day I'll sleep. Eh. eh. Nah. Eh, who needs it? Yeah, you should sleep after the stream. You want a mm, nah. reasonable nah. bedtime, right? Nah. What? Was that not the entire point of this? <laughs> <laughs> you stupid fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the entire point of you pulling an all-nighter was to go to bed at a reasonable time. I'm wide awake. I know I'm yawning, but I'm wide awake. 
Um, I will kill you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on for a while too. I have to open like, every day this week because my fucking coworker is going to a, con uh, a convention. Um, oh great! For the second time in two weeks. Oh no. Oh. Hey, and can we you were, do my job for me? I'm going to have fun. We're not allowed <laughs> um, to have uh, a third key anymore. That my coworker, other coworker, left. So it's just oh, the three shoot. of us to be in charge of the store. And he's gone. <laughs> And I You're have to the boss. And I have, you know what I have? I have like rehearsal every night this week. Oh. So it's it's so every day I'm opening. Because I have to be at rehearsal. So it's like 9.30 to 4.30 I work. And then I go to rehearsal at 6.30 to like 9 something. Mm -hmm. How about you, you all should, Yeah, y'all should work in theater. It's really fun and mm -hmm. uh, not time consuming or awful. Sure, you know uh, what? Maybe I will. <laughs> Reminds huh? me of that time I had to tell my anatomy teacher I'm gonna have to miss the final because I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luckily, fair. she let me take the test like the following day. But Loki, it still what do you sucked, mean? Cause... Sorry, Loki said, "Has the voice been done?" And what what does that mean? Can you clarify, please? Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, yeah. Luckily, she let me take the test the next day because I told her, "Is like, yeah, it's like a field trip, essentially." Mm -hmm. It wasn't. Um. <laughs> Kind of was, kind of wasn't. And she's like, that's fine. I could tell she was upset, but I was like, fucking, I'm... Yeah. But it still sucked, because... <laughs> like, wake up at, you know, four in the morning to make it to school at, like, five, and then mm -hmm. get home at two in the morning, and then have to wake up the next day at five for the test. It's like, fuck. I, uh, <laughs> I did it. I passed, but it, was, it sucked. Um, did I ever tell you about me um, uh, missing my, my college final? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. So I first year uh, before I switched to uh, become a theater major, I was a um, I was a biochem major. So I, I was a major. Uh, I was majoring in bio and minoring in chemistry. And um, I had since the very first day, I had on my calendar that uh, like what time this final is, and I had what day this final is. And uh, so I'm like, uh, day day of the final comes. I say I'm gonna get up. At this time, I'm gonna go to the uh, the dining hall. I'm gonna have a really good breakfast. I'm gonna ask my friend to walk with me to the uh, to the science hall, so and so we can walk together and then get this test. And so I'm eating. I'm eating my breakfast, and I say, "Hey, uh, I'm about done eating. Do you want to walk over to the uh, to the science hall?" And she goes, "What are you talking about? We just got let out about 30 minutes ago." <laughs> I say, oh. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean you got let out 30 minutes ago? <laughs> She's like, we just took the test. Did, were you not there? No. <laughs> Excuse oh. you? Oh, no. Um, and so no. I rush over there, and uh, I'm like, oh, my God. I explained to her that I've had this on the calendar like this for, like, the entire semester. And um, luckily, she took pity on me, and she let me take it in, like, the back room of her lab. <laughs> Like her personal lab, she's like, "Okay, mm -hmm. get back here," and she's like, "Don't touch the eukaryotes." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> um, it's so, like I'm sitting on the desk near like all her equipment, and trying not to like knock something over. The clumsy fuck that I am, um, and I I got like a, a C on it, I think. <laughs> uh, better than nothing. Yeah, I got a I got a zero on my multiple choice uh, my multiple choice chemistry final. That's oh, yeah. not possible. Or is like like statistically almost improbable um, <laughs> to get a, a zero on a multiple choice, mm -hmm. but I did it. Wow! And this, uh, well, Congratulations. I remember this this woman who was in there was ta she was like writing her uh, she was doing the test and she pulls out her calculator which we were allowed to have, but I guess the instructor who was like giving because it was like a multi classroom um, final it was like multiple um, like two different classrooms taking the same final. He comes over and he grabs the test out of uh, out of her hand and he rips it in half and he goes, "You're done. Get out." Because oh. he thought the calculator oh. was her phone. And this girl's like, this girl is like to the right of me and like two people down and she starts sobbing. And he's what? like, "Oh my gosh!" He's like, "Oh my gosh! I am so sorry. I'm so sorry." And he like gently lays it down and he goes to get her like a new scantron. Oh but at the point, God. everybody's everyone's attention has diverted from the test to her. And, wow. Um, it's so, like I'm thrown off. I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck chemistry is anymore, <laughs> um, and I, I don't know what to do. So I just like circle my shit and I leave. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I got a zero. Don't know how you could do that. Oh man. Also, uh, Loki. You know, I have not done that voice this stream. Uh, that's very floss. My voice is definitely not up for it after the uh, insane laughing fit at the beginning of the stream. Oh, oh sorry, God, I'm 
Ouais. Ouais. <laughs> okay. Oh. Why are we doing those noises? Oh. Oh no. You don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh-huh. I take that back, I am not safe. I don't feel safe. You don't feel oh, safe? No, we're a bunch of, <laughs> bunch of liberal sissy boys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, unfortunately, is my it is my time. <clears throat> I, I gotta make it to my shift at the ball crushing That's factory. That's a post. <laughs> read, you should, uh, te text me if you're on after you eat. Um, I will think about it, but I hate you. So. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Leave. you know, don't ignore me this time. Go. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, Bye. chat. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Reduced. Mm -hmm. And then there were Boost. three. Wait, hold up. What? I just realized that my icon in the channel does not match the icon that's on the screen. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right, it doesn't. Oh uh, yeah. Well, oh, that's weird, I don't like that. That is weird. <laughs> Why does that not do- what? Oh. Oh, it, same thing with G-Knight. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, uh, it, it, for some reason it puts on screen our default profile pictures and other server ones. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. If I would've yeah. done, I would've changed it. It's fine. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with Panty. No. It's not, it's not not safe for work. It's fine. Yeah. It's not. Though it's I'm disappointed fine. that it wasn't. <laughs> get on it. <laughs> well, get <good> new. <laughs> no, I got one. You, you already gave me one. Several, what was it, last year? Oh, the stocking uh, one? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got one last year. Mm -hmm. Read about her. <laughs> I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do for you, to, for you, to you, for you, <laughs> this year. Wow, what do you, what do you mean by that? What do you mean you gotta do? What, what are you gonna do to me? What the fuck? I mean, I wield a, I wield a, a certain um, librarian's power. You um, do. Yeah, you yeah, do. I wield too much power over G9, unfortunately. You, I, I could write you, you a little you script will, for that. Listen, Doof is the most powerful out of out of everyone. She <laughs> wields two characters that I love. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I will have your ass before the month is over. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I can I can write you a little script for uh for a, a little birthday shout out for Gina. I mean I mean possibly. Possibly. Uh, but I also need to figure oh. out what I'm gonna do for you too. Oh. I mean, you know, you got you got three coming up. And I've done one and I, I guess one and a half. No, wait, we're like one wait, what happened? to read. Oh, yeah. Um, but like, I still want to, I, I don't want to just buy everyone something, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Um, read, I can kind of get away with it. <laughs> 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 um, <clears throat> and that was forward. Yeah, it was forward. <laughs> yeah, it. Fight me. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, no, we're, um, we're chilling. We're chilling. I'll figure yeah. something out. Um, when, in my spare time, <laughs> in all the, in all the free time that I have. I mean, I I don't mind getting stuff late. I still haven't mailed you your Christmas present. So. Y yeah. No, I know, and I haven't uh, inquired. You also haven't sent me my body pillow. Oh shit! You're right. Uh, I well, that's the thing. I my. You haven't given any of us the eerie one. <laughs> I no. I sent you yours. No, you didn't. I thought I did. No. What the fuck. You haven't sent me mine. I don't know how I didn't send it. Uh, yeah, I've been in the red in my bank account, um, but I've done some stuff. I did some adulting yesterday and today to fix that, so I should be able to, within the next two weeks, actually be able to send you guys shit. Uh, you're fine. I'm not, I'm not, like, upset about it. 
I just yeah, I'm not I gonna play that. It, but I'm upset. <laughs> No, no, yeah, I have a complaint. How dare you? It's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta ship you your wife, and I gotta ship you your coffee, your dinosaur coffee. My Jurassic Park coffee. Yep. Well, what's with you and shipping? Whoa. Well, I'm, shipping a, I'm a shipper. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. That's what I do. I have so many body pillows now, but I, I, I have to, uh, I have to, um, buy like an actual full-size body pillow because the one okay the one that you sent me the mirage one uh-huh it fits perfectly but the one that i just got recently um it's does bigger not fit perfectly yeah it's yeah. bigger it's like, like uh -huh. I'd say a, a foot bigger maybe yeah that's actually uh the, your polygeist uh -huh. one is a normal sized body pillow the ones that i make yeah. are actually <laughs> smaller than usual um, but mm -hmm. you can find, and I'm saying this for like the entire audience too, you can find pillows that fit my body pillows at Walmart for like 15 bucks. Uh, Target. Yeah, Target has them too. Uh, the Walmart ones are not going to be your normal like wrapped up body pillow ones. They're going to be like, um, like decorative body pillows. Uh, and then if you go to Ikea, Ikea actually also has for about $15 a pillow that fits inside mm -hmm. of them. So you can find ones that aren't like super expensive. We don't have an Ikea in my state. <gasps> That's Rip. so sad. I know. I have to travel out of state to go to Ikea if I, I ever want to. I love their meatballs. Um, what, Where is it? Hold on. I don't actually look this up. <laughs> I, don't remember the I don't remember the last time I went to one. There was mm. one in London, but there wasn't one over here. In <laughs> uh, use precise location. Egg. Egg. Just choose area. Uh, near me. Yeah, like a mirage. Yep, a shade away. Uh, how far away is this? <laughs> um, Goodbye, Jesus. sweetly. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, uh, nearest Ikea is 166 miles. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Road trip. Yeah. I mean, I'll I'll be going there eventually, at some point. I, think. I mean, when you visit, I have an IKEA right around the corner. We could uh, we yeah. could stick the uh, pillow into um, a vacuum seal bag and shove it in your your backpack. Yeah, that's fair. I still need to fucking I still need to buy I still need to buy my plane ticket and mm -hmm. everything else. Um, it's just where I've been saving up for my booth. I'm like I'm really debating. I'm like I'm very hardly debating on like what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also need confirmation from my boss because we have inventory in September. I yeah. didn't know that I can get those days. Um, but she also she put her dog down the same day after mine. Oh. So, oh. like, within a 24-hour time period. Uh, so we're both kind of like, okay, let's agree that we're just not going to talk about other things for a minute. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Oh, dang. What, what country are you in, Numcat? They don't have Ikea, Walmart, or Target. Oh, damn. So I figure Ikea is kind of all over, because it's actually a Swedish company. Yeah. Yeah, Walmart or Target if there's a country. Moldovia? Huh. I, I don't, I don't, um... Hmm? I don't know. Don't know what. I have no clue. Oh, did you hear about um, Horror Nights uh, in Hollywood? No. Ooh. Um, I think uh, their house is like Latin American monsters or something like that. Ooh. Like Latin oh. American folklore. That's cool. Yeah. 
I was like, that would be that. I think that's like the one big one that's different. See, my problem with their houses though is it's a lot of just like black hallways and black rooms that just has a single scare actor in it. Like there will be like a decent room, and then you go through a black hallway, and there's just a, a room with one scare actor, and then you go through a decent room. And then it's just a black hallway with an, a single scare actor. Like, I've seen multiple videos of a lot of their different houses being like that. And I think it's kind of lame. Yeah. The one thing they have going for them is the terror tram. Mm-hmm. One of the ones that uh, Warner Brothers, because, uh, of course, you know, Warner Brothers has access to DC. But uh, one year they did a house based on um, Arkham Asylum, like the Ooh. video game. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was, of course, it wasn't scary, but it was like really well done. Mm -hmm. Like the production value was insane. And I'm like, if Universal could, could get their hands on that for like one year, I would, I'd pay so much money. <laughs> yeah, admittedly though, if Universal did it, it wouldn't be as good. Like I remember, uh, the very first year I went, they had a Resident Evil house, but yeah. it was specifically the Resident Evil video game, and all of the the costumes, like they looked like cosplayers. And I don't mean that to, like, disrespect cosplayers, but it wasn't, like, good cosplay. Well, Universal has the issue of um, everything being on, like, a uh, like a, a sound loop. Uh-huh. Um, where they don't let the actors, like, improvise or, like, do what they kind of want. Everything's, like, very preset. So if you've gone through the house once, you're not going to get any surprises next time you go through the house. Mm -hmm. um, with uh, Warner Brothers... They they let their actors kind of go ham and yeah. do what they need to do. Well, because they're actually and big I, actors. Yeah, and it's really fun. Um, it, even if it doesn't always work, you're like, oh, like they're allowed to inject a little bit of personality into there. That's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Um, but the, like in, in Universal, you'll get like stuck um in between like five people, and like the line won't move, and so you'll hear the same line looping over and over. Yeah. You're like, can we move on, please? Oh man. <laughs> like in the first Stranger Things house when I almost had a panic attack because the line completely stopped moving for some reason and we were stuck in the very first room which is, <laughs> you remember the beginning of Stranger Things where it's just the alarm going off in the lab just me, me, me. Oh yeah. Picture that for 10 straight minutes and flashing uh. red lights for 10 straight minutes and one of the Demogorgons realized we were stuck and so he would just kind of peek out see what we were doing be like okay you're still stuck you go back in you peek out you play peekaboo with the person there he'll go back in he was fine the other one was inside of the wall and he couldn't tell that we had stopped moving so he kept just hitting the sound over and over again so I, along with the meh, meh, you would just hear rah, 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 like really loud and it just it was so overwhelming i actually had to like close my eyes and leave my forehead on like corb's shoulder for a second to kind of like ground myself Ooh, that's fun. Yeah. Then we finally started moving. Yeah. They didn't have, they didn't have this for the Arkham games. That's sick. Yeah, they did it um one year. I can't remember. Wait, let me find it. Isn't that the same company who also did the the really cool It House? I th think maybe. Um, it wasn't the It House was not on Warner Brothers property though. Okay. It was like on the street. Yeah. Um, this one was like actually, it was like their, their, oh, in their, like their equivalent of Horror Nights. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Um, Arkham Asylum, um, Haunted House. I think it was like back in maybe 2016 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, it's four years ago. So that was 2020, 2019, 2018, October of 2018. Mm. Um, it's called Escape from Arkham Asylum, and they had like the art because it, uh, this was yeah, it was right as Arkham Knight came out. So they had like the Arkham Knight Batmobile outside, and like the whole part of the building was done up like Arkham. Ooh, that's cool. Um, they had like Harley Quinn like waving the uh the people into the asylum yes. uh, as Har as Doctor Quinzel. Oh, that's cute. And, and, and then she and then she'd pop up as Harley Quinn throughout it. I love that. Yeah. God, I want to rewatch all the the old Tim Burton Batman movies. They're pretty good, except for all the I killing that Batman them. does. <laughs> <laughs> the friendly Demogorgon. Yes, he was very friendly. He was very cute. Uh, it was also one of the Demogorgons that could move its its um, like head. So it would just come out and just... Head, and it would go back inside again. Just <laughs> wiggling his little lips. You want to lick nuts? Come yeah. on. Let's lick nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love nuts. 
hold up i'll put this in the stream actually i'll just show it to you after we um after we get in the stream callum yeah i'll just put in the stream it for you uh, um was really surprised there was no five minutes of freddy's house this year yeah I, i'm not surprised i know Make you're not <laughs> well, I kept telling you that it comes, the movie comes out after the season, so they're not going to no. release the house, you know. Footage by Ernest no, Fred is the hell they're right now. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I know it comes out after the season, uh -huh. but I also know that the, the demand for it and the movie is so big that I don't think hype, I, I don't think that it really mattered. It, it does. It's like it a whole, it's a whole licensing thing. Uh. Yeah. It, they won't release something if the actual media has not come out yet. Well, they really fucked up on timing then, because that would have been like, they would have sold out like so many. Would have been peak. Yeah. They might do it next year. Yeah, they better, or I'm gonna have a, a real problem with somebody. Because uh, this year we're getting uh, Megan in the. Uh... Are we getting Megan? I thought so. In in Blum No, Rose? I don't. No. I no. Oh I don't wait, think no, so. that might have been like a. Hold That's on. a rumor, I think. Yeah, let me go double check. This year it's Chucky. Um, it's Exorcist. <laughs> Exorcist Revenge. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, we're getting uh. Fuck. What was it? Now I'm mad. Hold on, I got you. I got the list. Uh, Thanks. Exorcist Believer, Chucky Ultimate Kill Count, Universal Monsters Unmasked. Uh. Mm -hmm. Dr. Oddfellow, Twisted Origins, Dueling Dragons, Choose Life Fate, which I'm excited about. Yeti Campground Kills, which is, is it's going to be a redo of another Yeti one we've had in the past. Mm -hmm. The Darkest Deal, Blood Moon, Dark Offerings, and then... Last of Us and Stranger Things. Ooh. Yeah. This is the Last of Us one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's yeah, going to be Last be, of Us. It's, it's based oh. on the game and not the show. Yeah. Oh, So yes. it's a lot more horror-centric. Yeah. Mm, uh, so yeah, they I, already I announced did. those ones. And then uh, the scare zones are going to be Dr. They're all Dr. Oddfellow, but Dr. Oddfellow's Collection of Horror, Dark Zodiac, Jungle of Doom, Expedition of Horror, Vamp 69, Summer of Blood, which I'm excited about, uh, and Shipyard 32, Horrors Unhinged. What I love is I can tell exactly where each of these is going to be based on where they've had previous year's stuff. Uh, they are going to have Nightmare Fuel Revenge Dream, uh... All new tribute store, as per usual. Uh, Dead Coconut Club, which honestly I would love a Dead Coconut Club T-shirt because they look fucking rad. Um, yeah. Peacock's Halloween Horror Bar. Uh, <laughs> Peacock. Peacock. Uh, cool. All new food and beverage, as per usual. Ooh, a faster torta sounds good. Sour apple pie funnel fries, that's new. Obviously, we're getting pizza fries back. Uh, bloody campground poutine. That sounds cute. I, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> I got really mad about the pizza fries. I was like really hyping them up in my mind, and then I got one. I was very disappointed. They're not amazing. They're really not. It's just a. It's just a. Uh, a tradition. It's kind of like me getting a twisted tater every year. They're not necessarily the best thing in the world. Hi, Snoozy. Do you, rem do you remember you were over, over the good guy burger and then having it and your like, yes, it's really good. I regretted not getting <laughs> one sooner because it was. It was actually genuinely good. For those of you who don't know what a good guy burger is, it's uh, it's a regular cheeseburger with uh, jalapenos, and um, it's got like a strawberry drizzle on top mm -hmm. with uh, Fruit Loops on the top of the bun. It was really good. Hmm. Yeah, so you get that sweet and like hot kick. Yeah. I didn't have it because uh, I don't know. It was it was way too rainy whenever we got hungry. Yeah. Um, and I just got like really sour because like we sat on there was like nowhere to sit. Yeah. And, like my my fry, my fries were getting wet and soggy <laughs> in the rain because it was like it was raining so I, it was like pouring. Yeah. So I just got really upset. I'm like I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> I paid twenty dollars for these fries and I'm not hungry anymore. It is probably gonna be pouring when you come again because it is. We've been getting pink zones. <laughs> so at least now well, you know not to wear your boots again. I'll wear Crocs. Yep. I'm gonna be wearing Crocs. Yeah, that was the biggest thing. Was I, I wore my uh, my Doc Martens last yeah, time. Yeah, we both did. We wore the wrong shoes. And so I just I just trapped rain in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're socks and Crocs, and then when it rains, just take your socks off and put them in sport mode. Yeah. True. You Gucci. We've required also, Snoozy, the what do you mode. what do you mean you're feeling ill, Snoozy? What happened? Snoozy, okay. Did you die? What happened? Snoozy, what did you do? How dare you get sick, Snoozy? That's not allowed. Must be healthy at all times. You need to, uh, 
ready uh you need to film a youtuber apology just for that <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry youtube for saying that snoozy is not allowed to be ill i want to apologize no snoozy <laughs> needs to apologize for being sick oh <laughs> i thought you were saying me no all right snoozy break out your ukulele you have nothing to apologize <laughs> for queen <laughs> No, you can't pass away. Don't do that. But then you'll be without Zabby. Exactly. Doof got big mad and lost the hunger. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, speaking of losing hunger, uh, you as a as a as a book fan. Uh huh. Um, I've been on the uh, on the quest to read the most disgusting and vile books that I can find. Oh, uh huh. Um, like splatterpunk type books and like just like extreme horror gore uh-huh and i found one mm -hmm. because like it's been on tiktok a lot recently and i was like okay well i'll add it because i'm like, i'm in the middle of two others and one's like really existentially like upsetting uh-huh and the other the other's american psycho which is yeah. like vastly i told you it's vastly different from the movie yeah um but this one uh i've been reading like on i've been reading audiobook like on and off uh-huh and it's uh oh. oh yeah you told me about that yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's uh, <laughs> I I got I got I got to the part today. Oh, I got to the part oh. today. Um, and uh, man, I I did not eat lunch. <laughs> oh, uh, I I could not eat my I could not eat lunch today because like it just it. This man, have you ever watched the South Park episode, where um, the boys like decide to write a book and so they they fill it with like all the most disgusting things imaginable and people can't like get through it without puking after like every five seconds or something like that no i don't think so i only watched like the first three seasons of south park yeah well it, it was like that experience uh it was, about, it was about like that because like there's like a, a full chapter that's just like has the worst descriptors for Oof. a thing that you can imagine and it's it, like this man wants to paint a very vivid picture of what he's talking about Oof. Uh, not fun <laughs> yeah not no <laughs> Susie um, says whips out ukulele the sickness train <laughs> 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 sorry go ahead doof i just i saw that and i had to say no it. you're good i understand um no it's just one i i I'm getting through it today and I, it's the book has me really engaged but uh -huh. like it, i'm like if this comes in at like the first 10 or 15 chapters then i don't know what the fuck the rest of the book is oh, be like yeah mm. i'll explain it to you later because you need to know this before even attempting to read this book um it's one of these things where it's like now that i've read it or i am reading it um if i found out that somebody was reading that i would look at them differently and uh -huh. be like why are you why are you reading that uh-huh what, what, what do you have to be what do you, what, what do you have to read that <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> yeah Ooh, ooh, speaking of books. Uh-huh. Something to send you specifically. Yeah. Um, one of the local artists here who lives in my hometown. Uh-huh. Um, got commissioned to uh write a little golden books of the haunted mansion. Oh. Um, and I found it mm -hmm. after like months of searching for it, because it released last October. Mm-hmm. Um, but they finally re-released it. Let me, let me I want to see it. that movie. I've been hearing very good things about that movie. Eh. Eh? I like I like Haunted Mansion. Um, I have not heard good things. Oh. I've heard really bad things oh. about it actually. Um, it also like poor things. They've um, well, not poor things because it's a giant corporate conglomerate. Yeah. But uh, they um, their budget was like 140 million opening week, and they only made 20 million. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so that movie is tanking like crazy. Okay. It's another one in the in the Disney track record of oh this is bad. Okay. But I want to see it because I'm a big Haunted Mansion fan. Yeah, I want to see it. Jungle Cruise, I could take or leave. I mean, I'm a Jungle Cruise fan, but I was like, Jungle eh. Cruise was fine. Haunted Mansion just has more lore anyway, so I'm like. Jungle Cruise was basically just the Mummy all over again, but with the Rock. Huh. It, it was the same formula. It's in BC. It's in BC. Oh, that's so cute! That won't be it. 
Disneyland. Disneyland. Oh, I'm so excited to go to Disneyland. Ugh. Oh yeah, you are. Yeah. Disney. I, I forgot. I'm so excited. I had I remember having fun last time I went. Um, I don't know if they have it at Galaxy's Edge, um, in Disney World, but Disneyland brought like the portion, uh, the portions from um. Uh, huh. Force Awakens. Uh, I think you were the, telling like the me the portion bread. I don't know. Yeah, yeah you, you got a bread. you got a whole bunch of stuff that isn't out here. Yeah. 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 I was like, yeah, go go eat it whenever you're there. Yeah. Also, eat a fucking Mickey beignet for me, or I'm gonna have to like come over there and smack you. Oh, they have them here. Yeah. The, oh, they the do. Thing, they do. Yeah, they're at the Port Orleans uh, Hotel. So what honestly, uh, when you're here, they should still have them. I can drive you over to the hotel and we can get Mickey beignets. Oh, they have, I remember they have a Haunted Mansion beignets right now. Ooh. That sounds good. But yeah, um, the thing I'm really excited about, actually, I saw it online and I want it so bad. It, it's only in California Adventures at one restaurant. It's uh, Birria Ramen. Yeah? Yeah, like Birria Tacos. Never had it. Oh, it's ugh, it looks so good. I've never had it, but I want it so bad. It's like these delicious tacos that like you dip into meat juice. Ooh. Oh. Sexiest tacos. <laughs> does the Haunted Mansion movie have the rock in it? No, it does not. <laughs> uh not sure what your Oh, no. Permanent smile. You did not see that. Hmm. Uh, huh? I said, no, you did not. Yeah, no. Oh, I think they mean when I was scrolling through my gallery to find the... The Sandy oh. Griffin. I, pro I probably went past one of, the, one of the images I made for the TikTok. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to go back. None of my family will know I'm there. <laughs> None of them. Looking VC. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's at the Port Orleans. Yeah, I know a map. Yeah, I can see the hotel behind it. Yeah, Give when you me. come visit, I can take you there. Give me. It's a really cool hotel. Honestly, I would love to get a Mickey Beignet and coffee and just walk around the hotel. I'd love the same. I've seen the rooms. I'd love the same one. Oh, if only. I, I got to stay in the Riverside one once because somebody else i knew was staying in there and i was like could i just crash in your hotel room for a night like i just i just want to say that i've stayed in this hotel mm -hmm. so i stayed in riverside i've stayed in pop century i've stayed in um all-star movies and sports an all-star all-star you're my superstar um i think that's basically it <laughs> Oh no, I also stayed in Art, Anim Art, Art of Animation. So I've stayed in five dis different Disney hotels. Wow. Rub it in. <laughs> Alright, bro. I haven't stayed in any of the Universal ones yet. I really want to stay in Cabana Bay at some point. Um, I really want to go... They have Starlight Bowling. Yeah. I know we talked about staying in a Universal hotel at some point. Yeah. The quest for the beignets. Yes. That's, I, um, fu funny you talk about, like, eating food at theme parks. When I went to, um, Disneyland in April, it mm -hmm. was my very first time. Um, but of course I, like, made a, I, I booked it for Cal Galaxy's Edge because anyone who knows me knows that I, like, I crave blue milk. <laughs> um, yeah. I, um, I, I've gone to, like, finding recipes on Reddit and try, like, tweaking it and trying to remake it at home and it's it never so turns good. out the same. Yeah. Um, like or it never turns out perfectly like you think it does yeah um and so i went to uh <laughs> i went to uh disneyland and i must have had about like five or six of that throughout the entire day yeah like five <laughs> or six blue milks um i went to like oga's cantina i got a blue milk with like my my two alcoholic drinks and then i i, I went back to that stand at least four or five times <laughs> 
And I was like, blue milk, please. Blue milk. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the blue stuff. I didn't make myself sick on it, luckily, and I didn't have, like, different colored shits, but I should have. My, my, <laughs> I, guess, I guess my body was like, you, you, you wanted this a long time. I'll, I'll be a trooper for you. See, the only time you're going to get different colored shits is if you get the uh, Halloween food that is dyed black, your poop will be green. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope so. Yep. <laughs> Bye, hide. I want my shit to be green. <laughs> Oh, look, there's nothing funnier than taking a crap and looking in the toilet and seeing everything be green. Yeah. This is a great conversation, actually. Totally. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. <laughs> Poop. Yeah. <laughs> like whenever you eat too many Lucky Charms. <laughs> what? Uh. And you're like, this isn't magically delicious. This isn't magically <laughs> delicious at all. <laughs> Uh, Snoozy, you've never heard of Blue Milk? It's, uh, it's um, from Star it's Wars. It's from Star Wars. Yeah. It's a, uh, and the way that they make it at Disneyland, um, and Disney World, it's like, um, it's like a pineapple, uh, watermelon, uh, dragon fruit, uh, thingy. Mixture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it, it's, it's frothed in like a slushy machine, but it never gets like too slushy. Like it, it's always that kind of a, um, a milky watery consistency. Cause mm -hmm. it's like mixed with coconut milk and... I think almond milk as well. Uh, um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it's coconut and almond milk, and it's like, uh, it's like slightly icy. It's just enough to where it has like a little bit of like a, a little bit of a crunchy texture to it, like like the ice particles. Um, You've been deemed the milk goblin. <laughs> yeah. I know. Um, no, I, I will happily accept that title if somebody pays for me to go to Disneyland and get blue milk. <laughs> um, it. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> Um, I'll have you know that, like, if if we end up going to Disney at that point, I will have to, like, park hop to Hollywood Studios for a minute and get me some blue milk. Absolutely. And leave. I can, I can, I can manage that probably. <laughs> All uh, four of us need to, know, need to go to Disneyland and have blue milk together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Again, I've tried to make it myself, um, and I, I've gotten very close, but very close isn't what I want. I honestly, I want... oh, sorry, go ahead. I was saying I want perfect, and I haven't gotten to perfect yet. I I would honestly love to take you to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, but that <sighs> uh, that unfortunately is an extra charge. But it's so much fun. I know I uh, love you as well. I I, uh, I I need to see the Sanderson sister show. I just I I cry if I don't see that once a year. Yeah, I'd love to go. Um, so much fun. It's a very different vibe than Halloween Horror Nights, obviously. Oh, I know. It's, you know. But, oh, God, seeing the Headless Horseman before the parade, and the parade is fun, and boo to you will be stuck in your head for all of eternity. Uh, I fucking love it. Halloween uh, Horror Nights um, was one of those things where it's like, I'm glad that I only went two nights, because yeah. I don't think I could handle any other. Well, I, we, we, we basically only went one and a half, because I you had to put me in a wheelchair and wheel me out of there. <laughs> I did. The second night. We, we got through, like, one or two houses, and I was, like, in pain the entire time. Mm -hmm. um, but um, the only thing, I guess there's my two gripes with Horror Nights. Uh-huh. The children slash teenagers. Yeah. Um, who like to run when there's no room to run. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, like, the kind of um, cattle call process they have. Yeah. With I th everything. I, think I feel like a heifer that... going through, through going through a slaughterhouse <laughs> half the time. Um, you will not feel the same way if we go to Mickey's Not So Scary. Uh, yeah. There's there's actually considerably more space because there's less people in the park than usual. Because they're all going to Horror Nights. Oh, no, not that. It's because it's limited tickets. Oh. Um, and the thing, and I, I used to do this job, is once it hits a certain time every all the cast members line up and they're literally pushing everybody who doesn't have a, a uh, mickey's not so scary ticket out the door oh yeah it's basically it's basically the equivalent of like the ants in a buzz life like linking arms and just like waddling forward that's kind of what we would do uh and you have to check because mm -hmm. you have a wristband for mickey's not so scary so if you don't have a wristband you gotta go and um i oh god i hated the day where i had to wait outside the bathroom because there was a guy and his girlfriend who were waiting in the bathrooms because they were trying to just wait us out um, mm. And he walked out, saw us, walked back in again, and they waited for a hot minute. And then they came out, and we had to legit push them out. And it was just me and another girl. Like, we didn't have security. We didn't have a supervisor. It was so awkward. I hated it. Uh. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, it is it is considerably less people. I honestly, I legitimately love the Halloween parties and even the Christmas parties. Um, 
don't they have haunted mansion stuff at the, at the not so scary like they have like uh those actors outside the mansion they or do. something like that yes yo oh, there's, please there's ghost actors i'm coming yeah <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh i love it and it's and there's free trick-or-treating so you, you can literally just get a whole bag of candy and also they do this free really candy. free candy and they also do this really cool thing where if you have allergies you can just go up to a building in the front and just get an entire bag that's already full of allergy friendly candy Yo. Yeah. I remember being speaking of trick or treating. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's so off topic. No, it's okay. I remember, I remember being eight to ten years old and being screamed at by some guy no. in a neighborhood for uh, for being too old to go trick or treating and he wasn't gonna give me candy. No. All right, bro. <laughs> um, he like he was so mad and I was like, for what? Like this costume obviously fits me. I am young enough. Um, what are you what are you doing, man? So I would love to, I would love to do that and go uh, trick or treat a little bit. It'd be so much fun. And yeah, you're, you're allowed to trick-or-treat no matter what age you are. Like, if you have a ticket, Good. you can trick-or-treat. And Good, uh, I, uh, I the, parade, the parade is so fun. <laughs> they redid the fireworks. The fireworks, admittedly, aren't quite as fun now. They're kind of lame. But, the, you know, there's still fireworks and projections on the castle. And, it, you know, it's not something you get to see every every day. So it's it's fun i love it i love it so much and then there's like there's like nobody waiting to get on the rides half the time uh there are also special character meet and greets so if you would like to meet jack skellington oh yeah. yes the boy he's there uh did you see where we're getting a nightmare before christmas lego set no that's oh. cool though Oh, yeah, I want like a, it. Was, it was a Lego ideas. Uh, you know Lego ideas? Not really. Yeah. Uh, it's user submitted Lego sets, and then ah. if they get approved, if they get approved, they get run through the Lego team, and the Lego team is like, okay, we're gonna turn this into an official set if they can get like licensing and stuff. Ooh, and it got, okay. a, it got a, and it got approved, and it got licensed. So oh it, it, yes. It confirmed that's gonna happen. It's it's um Halloween Town. Ooh. And, oh my um, god. It's got like um like the the hall like the town hall um Jack's house. Uh, the fountain. Oh, that's so um, cool. I think it came with lock, shock, and barrel, and <gasps> like uh, Santa in the bathtub. Oh, oh that's so cool. I need it. Of it. I know Hocus Pocus got a Lego set. Oh, it just released. I won't buy it. I'll I'll, po I'll post that real quick. Yeah. Oh, bye, friend. Bye bye. God, I, I keep looking at this Mickey venue. I have actually I wanted this. I've been wanting it for a hot minute. So yeah, we we could absolutely. We could we could make if, that a day, if that's still uh, open by the time. If it, oh, it if should still be serving those by the time. That that's specifically a Halloween treat, and the a Halloween is is basically now all the way through October. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute! It's their house. Oh. Oh, and it's the OG kids. It's not the new kids. I love that. Yeah, that that's the one that's officially out. Um, and this is the one that's. Like this is the guy's uh, like mock up for what he wants as a set, and this is the one it got approved. So this isn't like the final design. Mm -hmm. but this is what mm -hmm. his what they're basing off of his design. Um, Ooh, oh my that's god! That's so cool. I, I love that. that. I want. I, I, I need I it too. I don't care how much it costs. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably gonna be like seventy five dollars. No, that would be like nah. I'd say close to the uh, 150 200 range. Okay. Yeah. If not more. I don't know Lego mm -hmm. prices. Uh, Legos are Lego are really expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the uh, I'll show you one that's like a 120 dollar price point. Oh, uh, there's a spot. Oh well, no. <laughs> Sorry, my partner and I were talking about like Legos today, so I have like all this knowledge fresh off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Come on, copy. Uh, excuse me. Like this one, uh, is 120. Mm. Is that the office? Uh, yes. Okay. Because I was like, that's one that I've been I've been wanting really badly for a while. Um. But uh, it really depends on like the piece count and everything, because like, whenever I got that uh, Death Star back in the day, it was like 3,800 pieces, and that was half a grand, I think. Uh huh. 
Oh, so it, it just depends. Legos do be expensive. There's, there's, um, uh, giant. Oh, have you seen the Millennium Falcon? No. Oh. I, I don't really look at Legos, admittedly. So. Uh, yeah, well, um, you problem. Uh. You thinks. Where is it? It's this thing. Massive. Leviathan. Um, it's been like a holy grail of people for a while. Hmm. Uh, I gotta, oh, I gotta paste it. Be patient. God. There it is. Seventy five hundred pieces. Oh. Um, eight hundred and fifty dollars. Mm. Oh. I mean, it's rad looking, but it's so expensive. Yeah. I could never. I just want to. I want to play with it in a public park and go like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that would give me so much anxiety. <laughs> I saw where some guy um, on TikTok was like having to renovate his room, so he was moving his giant fucking like I'm like he had a, like an Imperial Star Destroyer that oh. was like oh. massive, and he was like moving that stuff from one room to another, and he ended up dropping one of them. <gasps> no. Because he said he was like I'm gonna film myself every time that I bring one of these down the stairs in case something happens and I can catch it on camera, and he. Of course it did. Hi, Mila. Hello. Oh, the crinkles. Hi. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm eating. It's okay. You gotta eat. You know, you're a crinkler. <laughs> I am. I'm the crinklish man. <laughs> oh, no. No, I don't think he realizes what that means. No, I don't think he does either. I don't know. I don't um, know English. Uh, hold on. I got you. <laughs> English, English, not my first language moment. Rip. It's not. I don't think it's so much an English thing as a cultural thing. Damn. <laughs> Sends a paragraph. Yeah. Kind of. Has to send an essay. Here you go. Well, oh uh, no, kind of. I mean, that's the context I've I've always heard it. Um, no, I gotta type it. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Multiple meetings. Mila says you're doing great with the art tonight. Thank you. Why don't you back up for a second? Show everybody into what you've got yeah. so far. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you gave him the lighter hair for this one. His normal hair. I wanted to see how it looked like before ah, I put in the suit. Okay. Is your keyboard inside of your mic? No, um, Reed made me turn my gain up really loud, so, and, and I type hard, so now, unfortunately, you guys are gonna hear my, my clickety clacking. <laughs> there you go. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I was basically right. Uh, I just uh, I'm used little. to seeing it in, in both contexts. Yeah. And that All right, and with that, I'm going to go take a break. I'm going to go <laughs> piss and, get, and grab some water because I need to reflect on all my life decisions. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, I also have to piss. We scared. Okay, leave me alone. I see how it is. Yeah, you can talk for a it's second. It's fine. Entertain. It's fine. Oh, you're like my clickety clacking. I type, I type very quickly. But yeah, how y'all doing? How you doing? I see Snoozy is is uh, visiting the Church of Zavi. <laughs> you know what have you done? You don't want to know. Mila, I'm sure Snoozy wishes that a lot. I know I'm not wrong. Oh yeah, got a lot of people in here that weren't in here when we first started the uh, stream, so I just want to let everybody know to keep your eye out because our next Kickstarter is starting on August 5th, so five days from now. Uh, this is the last reward right here, for those of you who, you know, didn't know. This is going to be a print. This is going to be an 8.5 by 11 print. 
uh, hopefully on photo paper. If that doesn't work out, it'll be on kind of like a hard card stocky paper. But uh, yeah, it's going to be really fun. Uh, we have this. We have three stickers, which actually you can see two of the stickers there because G-Knight was pulling the color. So we've got uh, the Pumpkin Mirage and the Njun Snow Zavi. And then there's also a Bride of Frankenstein uh, fairy floss with a little Dr. Frankenstein Paki. It's a lot of fun. Oh my god, potato. I told you to nap. The Church of Zavi has to be protected. But yeah, so what's Shura's costume? It's nothing in particular. It's something that I made up. It's kind of like a forest witch uh, with a, a deer skull as a headdress. But yeah, uh, the French shall be mine. The, absolutely, Nova. Oh, Zavi's not wearing a dress. Zavi has a cape. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this print, honestly. It's just a shitty Halloween print. Hi, Doof. Welcome back. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, guys, keep your eyes open. Um, going to be working on the video over the next couple of days. The Kickstarter is going to go live on August 5th. I got some really, really nice graphics set up. Oh no, I'm not saying dresses can't have capes. I'm just saying that the... I'm sure somebody might have thought that the cape was a dress. That's all. Hello. Maybe not. I'm back. Hello. Hi, okay, there you are. Oh, we're both back. Yeah. Yippee. I mean, Who's people have already drawn him in dresses. Who? Zavi. Oh. Yeah, everyone, they have a few. Everyone's saying, Just a few. Yeah, everyone's saying he would slay it. I'm like, yeah, I know, he already has. <laughs> which uh which bot would most traditionally conform to their uh to like stereotypical gender expression? Uh probably fairy. Yeah, that's why I'd say. Yeah. Uh the way I've described it, like in Tumblr asks, is because uh, like people keep kind of trying to push mirage into wearing like dresses and skirts and stuff and, and you know my stance on that that i've like answered the ass being like they don't like showing off skin they don't feel yeah. comfortable not feeling the just fabric. like me for real for real yeah um zavi meanwhile uh while he does usually prefer like what would be considered male clothing he also is like comfortable enough with himself and his sexuality and just who he is that he wouldn't mind wearing a dress kind of like a la bugs bunny style uh-huh like, you know, if he's doing it, he's going to slay. He's going to be an absolute queen. But it's not, a, like, a normal, everyday thing for him. Mm -hmm. And then Fairy just kind of wears, like, whatever. I mean, she doesn't really wear much of anything anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Would um would human AU Zavi have a drag, uh, a drag persona? Um, no, because it takes place in the 70s. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> yeah uh you just know. just because of the time frame uh unfortunately that's not really a thing that would be considered safe yeah well you know yeah like i feel like it's something that he would do in private amongst friends if the yeah. need be but it's not something that he would like do out in public yeah zavi only slays on tuesdays <laughs> <laughs> so true um, what's funny is it is actually uh, Felicity, so Fairy Floss, that would break the gender norm a little bit more um, in the human AU because of the fact that she goes hunting. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually fully canon that she hunts about like 90% of the meat that Tiago uses in his taco truck. I used to hunt. You used to hunt? Did I tell you about this? I think you, you no. told me about like the your dad taking you to fire guns. Uh, I used to hunt bears. Oh shit! Oh, that's bad. Yeah, we, we, we used to hunt. We used to hunt black bears. Um, I've shown you my big dog, uh, the big uh, black one. Uh, I don't think you have actually. Big big hound dog? Have I not? The one that's no. Brand the one's no. branded. No. Nope. Um. Uh, yes, we. Uh, she was a, a bear hunter. She was the leader of uh, of her pack. Oh. Uh, and we'd send them out for days on end to go <laughs> to go hunt these bears, and they loved it. It was their job. And they had a fucking ball of a time doing it, but um, my my mom used to take me bear hunting with her and my grandpa. 
growing up and mm-hmm. I kind of ended up resenting it for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a big part of my life for like a good five years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, for her, it's mostly hunting like deer, like sm- a yeah. smaller game than that. Uh, we never hunted deer, but we always ate what we had. Yeah. Ugh. But yeah, because uh, the human AU takes place in the 70s, there's a lot of things that are kind of uh, hard for the cast to deal with. Like, um, you know, Shura is from Russia and they were experiencing the Red Scare through the 70s and 80s where they were very racist against anyone Russian because they assumed that they were spies. <laughs> you know, fun stuff. What? No, it's just really. It's, really, it's I'm not gonna repeat it on stream, but it's really, I was spending it in BC. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Redraw Why with Mirage and Eerie, please. No! <laughs> Absolutely! Yeah! I went to that. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I got tagged. I, I got tagged in something. What? Yeah. Oh my bit. god. A Bitcoin airdrop, check profile, yes please. Thank you. <laughs> See, that's actually what's happening behind the door. <laughs> the booty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they got the new bodies on the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my hip pops when I stretched. Oh, don't do that. Uh, I'm broken. Oh god, I I need to change the colors. Why does it? Why does this? Why does this look like Yuri's ass? <laughs> I'm just saying. I made, Star it, I made pa- a noopsie. Star, Star Palace in Harlem would go hard. <laughs> no, that's worse. That's darker. No, <laughs> it's fine. No one will notice. Yeah, it's fine. Ah. Uh... Oh, I missed a comment. Mila said, oh, Shura would make a great witch. Would Dimitri be the kind of douchebag that goes around scaring people in a mask and chainsaw? And I mean, no, because that's kind of not legal, uh, <laughs> especially because they live <laughs> in Japan. Uh, he would definitely be the kind of person who's just out drinking and being obnoxious with his buddies in a bar. Aww. You do care. <laughs> what? It's me. <laughs> it's you? Yeah, right. Oh, you know. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about something. I totally forgot. I lost my train of thought completely. I was gonna type into uh, the Twitter. Um, oh, Snoozy, you should. You should start commissions. Your art is super Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Do it. Mm-hmm. Snoozy, open and open. I, I, I would commission you in an instant. <laughs> Just saying. That. What was that? Huh? Well, I heard a noise. Oh. Uh, what, There's what been kind a lot of, of weird noises. It kind of sounded like a dog choking on something. What the oh. fuck? <laughs> yeah, it was. This is very strange. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna de- de- come back in this conversation again. Cause remember what, last last time we all hung out? Yeah. And so yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not, yeah. We're not gonna we're gonna do that to ourselves <laughs> again. No. Bad time. Yeah. Especially because last time, uh, literally yesterday, when I was in call with Callan and Reed, literally, like, there was fucking banging in my kitchen, so no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was banging in your kitchen, what? and you were the only one home. Uh huh. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, no. Yeah, there's been thumping upstairs, too. Like, it sounded like people were, like, 
drop kicking each other onto the floor and I was hearing yeah. metal hitting the floor and Corv and I were both like, are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah. I just, well, I don't know. And then it was just like someone was just playing hockey up there. I don't know. I don't know, man. Spooky. Not the fun spooky. Oh, yeah, it's also, a shit I do. Doof, at some point, you and I need to finish Scream. I know. I, I'm sorry that I haven't been online much. I've been incredibly busy. No, that's okay. I'm You're mostly good. just reminding you because I want you to know that I'm still interested. Okay. Yeah. As long as you're still interested. I am. I'm um, not I'm not trying to be like, do it now. I'm just, you know, I, I'm still here for it. I'm telling you what I'm interested in <laughs> soon. Um, trailer for Saw 10 came out. Ooh. And it's making me want to uh, rewatch the entire series. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> um, I fucking love the Saw movies. I like Billy. They're they're really, the first two I think Ooh. are like good movies, and I think everything else is like objectively not a good movie, but I really enjoy them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Snoozy is talking about because uh, everyone's saying that they would be scared if the bots just like broke into their house and Snoozy said personally I would be incredibly happy uh, incredibly happy about it and would welcome them with open arms Zavi can come over anytime <laughs> I would be happy and feeling other things Snoozy's anyway moving on <laughs> yeah moving on you want to talk about it moving on <laughs> Snoozy tell me how you really feel Also, I'm vibing with this music. I actually put on a uh, a third playlist just because we've been going for a hot minute. Do you ever uh, listen to my little Halloween playlist that I made for us? I feel weird doing it without you. It's like special with you here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I listen to it all the time. <laughs> what other playlist have I made? Maybe I can send you some. Yeah. Oh, bye, Numcat. Um, Bye-bye. A lot of it, honestly, is like a mix of the same thing, because I'm autistic and listen to like, the same <laughs> five things on repeat. That's kind of a mood, though. But, um, by me. <laughs> okay, Snoozy. Oh, yeah, I have a... I forgot I have a Christmas one. Christmas. Yeah, I made, I made a Christmas playlist like I did my Halloween one. Mm -hmm. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> Oh, it's time to remove you off the playlist. Gross. Mm. I said time to remove you off the playlist. Ah. Oh, that's funny as shit. Mm. I have an art vibes playlist, like things that I would like listen to that were like chill enough for me to like listen to while doing art. Uh huh. Um, but like it specifically reminded me of like this time that I was in um, an art studio in college, and I was like, this, this, I want like things that remind me of that vibe. Uh huh. It's all Damon Albarn and Gorillaz. If there's nothing <laughs> else on there. I'm like, oh, this is just, this is cringe. Nah. I have a, gu I have a guilty, pl uh, guilty pleasures playlist. It's good stuff. Uh, I can't believe it's the last day of July and everyone's talking about Halloween. Look, we're, we're spooky bitches. Yeah. Like, untitled character playlist. My electronic mix, so I haven't touch that in a while Ooh. hey would you guys be okay with me going to making a tuna fish sandwich real quick yeah go ahead I hope if it were any other if it were any other sandwich i wouldn't mind but if it's tuna i <laughs> i i'm gonna have to leave eh, too bad <laughs> i'll be right back oh yeah g knight and i had to mm -hmm. talk about character playlist stuff a few months ago yeah about how we are very different people <laughs> okay, I, I want because I want Callum to come back to this. Just I, I'm I'm gonna stir up a little bit a little bit of controversy today in stream. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> when when you make a character playlist, typically, and we're talking like characters in the modern age who would have access to listening to music. Mm. Would you would you more 
make a uh, make music that reminds you of them and their feelings and their arc, or would you would you make a playlist based off of what they would listen to? Like what would be on their um, like MP3 player if they had an MP3 player? If it's modern day characters, yeah, it would be things that they would listen to. That's what that's my take on it. Yeah. That's how I do it. But if it's uh, if it's characters like like our D and D characters or uh, the Garza characters like Dr mm -hmm. like when I was um I was uh, my microphone cuts out. All right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I, it was like D and D characters or any kind of other um, of character that it was like medieval times or just fantasy. Then it mm -hmm. would be things that remind me of them. Like I made a character playlist uh, of uh, Tracer, from yeah. Overwatch, and so like I dug through like all the comics and the source material, and I found like every mention of like albums because she's like an old Brit punk. So I was like going through like al like albums that she listened to. And like songs that she com like sp specifically mentions, and then like I kind of based like, like I I took all those and I put them in the playlist, and then I kind of like start like took other things that were like that vibe, and I'm like they would have this on their playlist. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know they can be both, but I'm like, like if if you could choose one or like what's what's your usual go to for that kind of stuff? Because mm -hmm. like they yeah they can be both, but like I I feel like people usually either have a, like a, a one or the other preference. Yeah. And like the way that they go to approach it. While I wait while I wait for answers to flood in. Uh there's my oh yeah, there's the Cyberpunk campaign playlist. Oh, there's a lot on there. There's a lot that I isn't even on my like on there. That's insane. <laughs> That's crazy for me. Uh Musicals. Project inspiration. Oh yeah. Oh, that was a fun thing, actually. I'm gonna, I'll get into. Um, working on this. Uh, I've been working on on that play recently. Mm -hmm. And um, this uh, this woman who's playing one of our leads in the show has. I, I swear to God, her voice is like 100 percent the head cannon voice that I had for this character that I was developing for this thing. Oh. And I'm like, dude, like, that's scary. And I told her, I said, after this is over, please don't get scared if I contact you again. <laughs> <laughs> because I may want to, I may, I may need to use you for something. Yo, but, I dude, like you. <laughs> I'm not in tune enough with any fictional character to determine their taste in music. <laughs> like, my go to for character playlists, uh, songs that remind me of them, no matter what context, why, why it reminds me of them, why are some they listen to where I think it sounds like them. Oh, oh no. Hmm. So you know that update that's coming out that I I sent in the chat. Uh, for what? Uh, for uh for 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 the game. Oh yeah. Yeah, the free one that's coming out. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I realized that after. <laughs> uh, speaking of character playlists, um, I have like a pretty stacked playlist for that character, right? Yeah. After after this angst update comes out, I'm gonna have to like. Aww. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's upsetting. I don't want to think about it. It's gotta be fun. <laughs> no, it's not. It's gonna be awful. Because <laughs> right now it's all party music, basically. It's all like, like mid to like late 20, like mid 2000s, late 2010s party music. Mm hmm. Um. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Shit. Uh, my I think my biggest playlist sin, um, is that for like every con so my my playlists um, on Spotify are stacked because I tend to make playlists for every concert that I've been to. I will make a playlist of the set list. Mm hmm. I don't know why I do it. I can easily find the, the set list somewhere, but I'm like, I have to, I have to have access to it. I need to relive that night. I have to do yeah. it. But I have, I have it all the way back from like 2016. 
It's just special. No one. I'm going crazy. It's all in your head. No, yeah, it's fucking phantom vibration. What's this about SCPs? Hello, I'm back and I have sandwich. Why why is there suddenly yeah. SCPs? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well it's gone Sorry, now. We, they got rid of it. We were um I, I caused controversy in chat. We were oh. talking about character <laughs> we were talking about character playlists while you were gone. Ah, I love character playlists. Cause because Jean I and I are usually of the opinion that like because we I, we know your opinion on it. Mm -hmm. Um we were talking about how we're kind of of the idea that like usually whenever we go to approach one it's like if the characters of like the modern age then mm -hmm. it's like something that would be on their their mp3 player mm. um while if it's if it's like before that like before the time that people have like access to listening to music um like on the regular like a D, &D character or something then mm -hmm. it's like on their story arc and everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah hold on let me finish chewing and i'll tell them mine. um mm -hmm. like i was talking about um how with the angst update that's coming out soon um for, for my, my special game, um, mm -hmm. I'm now gonna have to completely redo her playlist. Mm. Like right now, it's all like 2000s parties music. Yeah. <laughs> and this is gonna sting. Yeah. I don't want to think about it. See, that's also like a, a fan playlist too, because there's obviously a difference between a fan playlist and like an OC playlist. Yeah. Um. Most of the ones I make, um, if not all of them are OC playlists and I am insanely picky. Like the lyrics usually have to actually match the character in some way, shape or form. I think the only one that I haven't done that with is actually a, a silly Sonic character that I made. Um, and it was specifically because I was focusing more on finding female led like metal bands yeah. more than focusing on all the lyrics. Although a lot of the OTAP lyrics I was finding fit her insanely well, but usually yeah, the lyrics have to fit, the actual mood of the music has to fit, and the style of music has to fit. So I, I will spend hours crafting a playlist. I know. I remember I, I suggested <laughs> one thing, and you got very picky about it. Mm-hmm. I was like, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the... I know you had a Mirage one, and I'm looking mm -hmm. for it. Where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. The very, 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 very bottom, because for some reason, Spotify My PC makes your... Mm tag like a long string of letters and numbers yeah i still need yeah. to make a fairy playlist actually i i haven't made one just for her yeah yeah you do <laughs> did you give it to me <laughs> give it. okay oh yeah i mean zappy's had a playlist for god like a year now i think mm-hmm Ow. Fuck. Don't do that. Um, so muffin cakes, it kind of depends on, like, which way you're thinking about making the playlist, because there's the, the way that, like, Doof and G Knight were talking about it, where, like, you could make a playlist of the music that that character would listen to, or there's the way that I do it, which is intense. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, it's an, an, an intense journey. Um, where you, you make sure that all of the music actually fits the mood of the character. Well, I, I think there's also, by fitting mood, I think, if I can maybe clarify, mm -hmm. if, 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 I'm, and if I'm off base, tell me, mm -hmm. but, like, usually following the story beats that you're going for, like, That's true. like, trauma and, like, you know, certain um, emotions that this character is going to be feeling at certain points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And, like, related to, like, their identity more so than, like this person uh is a is a is a punker so they probably listen to exclusively punk music mm -hmm. but like with with a, the way the Callan approaches it I, I, and again if i'm off base let me know mm -hmm. um is like you probably include 
like a bunch more like um a bunch more things like let's say let's take hobie from mm -hmm. spider-verse mm -hmm. the creator has it where it's like he the way he approaches it is like completely what he would listen to mm -hmm. like purely like, like punk music yeah but a lot of other people's like fan playlists for him like it, that, that's the, that's the situation where it's actually kind of flip-flopped mm -hmm. where a bunch of fan playlists will have things like mother mother and cave town and shit mm -hmm. like that you know what i mean mm -hmm. So I guess that like that's an instance where I, I think what we're talking about is flip flopped in terms of OC and um, uh, fan playlists. Yeah, I mean here let me let me open up my Spotify real quick because the easiest way to explain it is if I actually like re look at say Zavi's playlist. So like Zavi's playlist, I actually got even more picky with because it flip flops between an instrumental song and then a song with lyrics, but they're all slow. Um. It's got stuff like Hello from Lionel Richie because it's just like, hi, here, I'm here for you. Uh, they long to be close to you, every breath you take. Because there's there's that possession factor in there because this was also made when he was still uh, FNAF. Um, mm -hmm. So there's, there's a song on there called I Will Possess Your Heart. Uh, I Want You, Stalker's Tango, After Dark, Fix Me Now, You Belong to Me. It's all incredibly themed. And I also specifically look at the lyrics because if there's a lyric that doesn't fit, um, like just as an example, uh, when I was doing a shipping playlist with Frazzy, uh, and she, I was like, Hey, do you have any songs that you would like recommend? She wanted me to put a very specific Melanie Martinez song on it, but it had a lyric basically saying like, I'm using you. And that's yeah. nowhere near what the character would even do. And it was because she was kind of looking at it from the realm of, oh, I just like this song and therefore Fry would like this song instead of, like, it fitting the characters. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah. The the book American Psycho. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if somebody were doing a Patrick Bateman playlist, mm -hmm. the way that I would do it mm -hmm. is I'd go through the book and I'd comb through every mention of every song that he talks about ever. Ooh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that and yeah. that's because that's you know that's like obviously a big facet of his personality. Mm -hmm. But a lot of other people would probably like have a lot more songs about like you know like being a serial killer and mm -hmm. like or like being somebody who's completely unfeeling mm -hmm. and like his um, his emotional state. Whereas I would have gone and been like, okay, well he mentions um he mentions the Huey Lewis in the news uh, mm -hmm. and he mentions um like Patty Lapone and you know the eagles or whatever the fuck mm -hmm. and i'd be like each one of those goes in order <laughs> yeah the way it's mentioned that makes sense too because in that case the character is specifically mentioning specific songs and music yeah i was i, I brought up tracer from overwatch earlier and how mm -hmm. i combed through the comic and i found each instance of like the vinyl that she likes and like Mm -hmm. songs that she liked from certain punk bands and so i was like oh hey that's going in the playlist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then i built a vibe around that but other people wouldn't do that so <laughs> we we all have our weird um ways of doing this but also like mm -hmm. well, now that i'm um kind of like in the throes of um wanting to like get a certain idea off the ground for a thing mm -hmm. i'm like now struggling because like i know these characters have access to music but i don't know what kind of like how like how mm. or mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah and i'm like i'm like oh fuck what do i do because i don't I, I don't i don't want to go down the route of like oh this is how they're feeling but i want like to encapsulate a vibe mm -hmm. of their personality mm -hmm. not so much like oh this is them but like this is probably what they would have listened to yeah sorry i'm, I'm like on this shit for no, some okay. reason i don't know why you're good you're fine I it was, was, it was someone's legitimate question, and we were both explaining the different ways that we do things. So you're good. Yeah. No. Um, I was telling G Knight though. Somebody in my rehearsals, mm -hmm. um, they have the exact voice that I was thinking for like my secondary main character. Mm. Like this is their natural speaking voice, and I, I was told them I said I'm gonna contact you at some point. <laughs> you better be a, You better be at my call. <laughs> Hold up. What? 
uh, Shinji Aramaki confirms that he directed an Alien vs. Predator anime series that's completely locked that's complete and locked away by Disney. Oh, the a the anime what? was titled the anime was titled Aliens vs. Predator Annihilation and took place on a ship used for immigration. Yo. Oh, that would have been cool. Yeah. Oh, we got a couple of new people in. Hi, guys. Hello. Good night, Molly. H hello. Hello. Hello, it me. Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. It's all good, Nova. Not not everybody is into character playlists. Like for me, it's really fun to build them, and then sometimes I'll like I'll play them while I'm writing for that character because it helps me slip into the mindset more. I don't always do that. Sometimes I I put on just other random music, but it's fun. Yeah, I think a lot of it also comes from like old kenning culture. Mm, maybe. Um, at least I know, especially like again, autistic people. Like really heavily relating to like um, comfort characters and shit, mm -hmm. and so making those out of like making these out of kind of like a way to I don't know interact with their favorite characters day to day and day out. Maybe yeah, that would make sense. I know that's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very strange relationship when it comes to certain characters because obviously like I, I love writing them but uh, a thing that I actually spoke to my therapist about that they actually said was healthier than I thought they were going to say is uh -huh. um, I sometimes have problems properly emoting and honestly even like knowing if my feelings are even valid and so what I used to do because I used to just not cry at all uh, I stopped crying when I was like fucking... I don't even know how. It was when All Dogs Go to Heaven 2 came out because I cried in the movie theater and then I was embarrassed and then I no longer cried ever. Um, uh -huh. So I got in such a habit of like locking it away that when I started role playing, um, I would do specifically like angst and really like sad stuff with people because feeling empathy for the character I was writing for would force me to cry. And then I was finally actually like getting it out in a relatively healthy way. Yeah. Which I know some people is weird, but like, it works. Do you think, um, I think Michael My if I made a Michael Myers, uh, playlist, a character playlist for him, do you think there'd be like Phoebe Bridgers and Boy Genius on there? I don't remember who those are. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry. I, 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 guess the, I guess the bit falls flat. Yeah, you gotta remember, you're more of a music pro than me. I like a static playlist, like Weird Core Dream Core. Um, uh, I like those sometimes, but admittedly, the ones that you find on YouTube, they all have the same songs on them. Yeah. Um, I was, I'll get in, like, kicks of listening to certain genres. Uh-huh. Um, like how some people will, like, you know, people who like candy a lot. They'll go through phases of eating, like, nothing but Payday for a month. And then they'll go, like, on a phase of eating nothing but Kit Kat. Um, and they'll get sick of that and go on to something else. I, I will do that. The only constant in my life has been, like, my favorite band mm -hmm. slash artist that I will, like, never get sick of listening to. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I go through, like, a lot of waves of listening to music. Like, sometimes it'll be, like, dub or hip-hop. Other times it'll be, like, really hard electronic music. Mm -hmm. Other times it could be, like, metal. It mm -hmm. just depends. Isn't that usually referred to as, like, especially with food, uh, like, chasing the serotonin? Is it? Uh, yeah, the, there's a thing, um, it's usually also linked to ADHD, where, uh, specifically with food, you'll have a, what's called a serotonin food, and it's, like, the only food you want to eat for a while. It's why, uh, like, sometimes, like, when, let's just say I stream with G Knight and he plays Five Nights at Freddy's, and suddenly I just want pizza for, like, a month straight. It's because I got uh -huh. the craving, and then it's the serotonin food, and then one day I'll eat it, and it just suddenly just won't be as good, and then I move on to a different serotonin food. And sometimes our brains do that with things like music as well. Uh, that's, I mean, that makes sense. I have, I have ADHD. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I haven't, I haven't really had it with food. Well, no, actually, hold up. <laughs> now that you mentioned that, I've been on a massive strawberry kick recently. Mm -hmm. um, anything strawberries or strawberry flavored or like just I'll eat a shit ton of strawberries in general. Mm -hmm. So no, I get it. I usually don't have that though. Mm -hmm. It's not usually, I don't usually have a food craving thing, but it happens a lot with music. Yeah. Like right now I've been able to listen to nothing but like my electronic playlist. Mm -hmm. Or like the same, um, like, and actually like the same ten out of that playlist. <laughs> it's not even like the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't like being called out like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I do have ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I go through that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Like right now, I am always like in a kick for Panda for some reason. Oh, Panda Express. Yeah, it's just like, hmm, I have some extra money. What do I want to buy? Panda. <laughs> <laughs> Panda. My delicious. Listen, listen. There, there, there. there chicken and, and fucking chow, chow mein. Oh. Oh yeah. So good. Ah, uh, their beef and broccoli. Their teriyaki is very yeah. good. We don't have a Panda Express in our state. No. Oh. <laughs> That's so sad. It's okay, we have a Chinese food place that's in my mall that's much better, and I eat there probably more than I should. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Um, I had Pan Express, like, for the first time, I think, in, like, first time, I think, right before I went out to, um, uh, Vegas. Mm. So, in, in April, I had it for the first time. I wasn't impressed. And then I had it when I got back from... London, mm -hmm. and it was okay. I'm not I a mean, huge fan. Maybe, maybe I just haven't had good Pan Express though. It's not amazing Chinese food. It's it's super Americanized, and it's just kind of quick and easy. Um, oh, I never told you guys about Shrapnel Panda, did I? Shrapnel. No. Um, so we called it Shrapnel Panda, which we also joked would make a killer uh, metal band name. Uh, but I got Panda Express one time with Cor, and uh, as I was eating. I something hurt my teeth and also my tongue and I spit it uh, out and you know how uh, they have those um what is it the the metal scrubbers uh, like the metal sponges uh some uh, of that was in my food well it's steel wool yeah that uh, and when we called them they were like oh sorry I mean we can give you a free meal uh, that was it but I was like oh okay thanks I I think what happened what's happened with my experience with Panda Express is I've been so spoiled with that uh, that Chinese food place in the mall. Yeah. That like no other Chinese food tastes good to me. <laughs> um, Susie, are you like, okay? Ugh. I'm uh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. You're fine. Go ahead and continue. I'm sorry. I just saw the Susie no, said she threw up. You're okay. No, it's they're, 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 they're one of those places where you like spend 12 bucks and then like you get like a giant thing of rice and then uh, like two main like Ooh. thing like i usually get like um spicy salt beef and um and mixed veggies mm -hmm. on top of a giant thing of fried rice and like they pack it full to the point where you can't close the box oh. you can't close the takeout oh. tray all that for 12 bucks and then like one time he just gave me back money uh-huh he gave me back like two dollars <laughs> oh so i i really didn't pay what i was supposed to <laughs> mm -hmm. but i'm like okay i come here enough that this guy knows he knows me he knows what i'm gonna order uh and he, just, he he gives me money off, so um, I guess it's a good deal. Yeah. Also, that's how you know it's like a legit and really good Chinese place is when they give you that much food. Uh huh. Like Panda definitely skimps out on food a lot nowadays. It's only ever been the same three people working there, and they're all like, obviously like not born in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Like it's like an immigrant family. Aw. Um and uh, but very sweet people, and I'm like. You make some damn good food, man. Keep it coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Rusty steel wool. Mm. Steel wool, like from like from FNAF. Five Nights at Freddy's. Steel wool. You know from the hit series Five Nights at Freddy's. What? Okay. Just be careful, Snoozy. <laughs> Hark, 
Man, like you must have. Said... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say for snoozy, you must have a stomach of iron if you got sick and then you're immediately hungry afterwards. Huh. Uh, also, you're like, oh, it does. Like, it doesn't. We say, oh, you know, that sucks that you puked, and you're like, oh, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. I'd be so upset if I puked. <laughs> yeah. Same. All right. Sorry. What were you gonna say? G night. Hmm. No, it was you. It was you. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, okay. I just said what I was gonna say. Mm, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Bro. Uh. I felt bad for interrupting you. Mm, you should. <laughs> I know. Uh, 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 uh. I'm actually pogging. Poggers. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's such a doggers moment. <laughs> <laughs> Stretchy noodle arms. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> you getting sleepy? Um, not so much. Um, I don't know. You okay? I'm all right. I just, I know that I have to be up. Like really early tomorrow morning, mm. so I, I open every day this week. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I remember you mentioning that sucks. Yeah, I just hope I don't have to do any um like promotion changes tomorrow. That would suck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because usually I think it's like Tuesdays and Fridays are our promotion days. Like I can stay up for probably like another hour, hour and a half, but like after that I have to pass out. I have yeah. to go to bed. You good? Yeah, Whatever you gotta fun. go, it's fine. <laughs> so she's just like I just got sick but I really want Zavi's ass right now <laughs> I mean listen if you lost your lunch you can always eat something else <laughs> very true bye Mila bye 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 bye, 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 bye. Tales of Gartha cool. question do Charade and Nimble call Eerie mom yes they do they love her. Mm. And also, she's mommy material. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, you want to talk about it? No, I'm gonna I didn't say anything. I'm gonna have to go back and um replay um that fucking game if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do that. Wait, what? <sighs> oh no, I'm just I'm talking about um character voices. I'm gonna have to go back and try to figure that out because i tried doing it the other day without much reference oh to what the, the monica sounds voice like. yeah oh, okay. i'm gonna have to redo that because i'm like oh I, I can't remember how i did it because like it's different than what's in game like it's my own like little thing on it but mm -hmm. i don't remember how i did it <laughs> i don't know as soon as you did it though i was just like <gasps> well that happened with that if i can be honest with you like 100 percent with you that happened with eerie last time i recorded yeah it had been so long since I had done it that I had to go back and like, oh, this is what I did previously. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't say yeah, like like you like you could tell. I I'm not saying it like I can tell. I'm saying like, oh, I understand. Okay. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm like, I, I, no, 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 you're good. I, I, I hope to God you couldn't have tell <laughs> no. because like, in that case you need to tell me to do retakes. No. no That's that not was, what that I was, meant. That's not what I meant. That was. That was fucking bad, dude. That what? was like, I was, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna lose my job. No, I don't know what the fuck I'm <laughs> you, doing would, anymore. you would not lose your job. <laughs> You're fine. That's not how I meant it. Like, Eerie's gonna come out suddenly, that fucker from um, uh, Life of Brian, where she's like, she's, he's not the Messiah, he's a very naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I also need you to keep in mind that I haven't slept, so I might not be emoting quite <laughs> right. No, you're fine. Um,. Jesus God. Mm -hmm. That happens to me a lot with characters. If I if I sit on it for too long and I don't like engage with it for a while, if I don't like get um active work with it for a minute, mm -hmm. I, I, I I'll forget 
what I did pre- previously. That's why it sucks doing auditions. Mm-hmm. Is because like I'll I'll submit something and like you know the one in a fucking a million chance that I get cast for something that I auditioned for. I'll, I'm like, okay, what the fuck did I do again? Oh yeah. <laughs> what, what, which one of my takes did you like? Because like I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Imagine not sleeping. You shush. You can't judge me. Someone said Eerie can be their mommy any day. Yeah. Mama, sweet mommy. <laughs> Mama, sit up. <laughs> I just make like a secret audio file that you'll never hear of, like. <laughs> Me as Eerie and Mirage just saying the most cursed things. Uh, like the worst things imaginable. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, do you? I do. I don't mean the worst things imaginable. I just mean things that I probably couldn't say on stream. Yeah. <laughs> things that would get this video demonetized. I need to hear it now. Uh-huh. Or that, or that I don't think fans are ready to hear me say. <laughs> I need to hear it now. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, I, I think, was it for your birthday, G-Night? Or whose birth? I, I, I sent somebody lewd files as eerie once, and the public will never hear this. Uh, Wait, it, it wasn't lewd. It was just, it was like a cute thing. No, I think I, I think I made lewd files at one point. If you I did, we did not hear them. Okay, I specifically remember recording them. Yeah, no, but, that was... <laughs> <laughs> it, there, there exists somewhere in my fi- in my hard drive, so or maybe it's deleted somewhere. But I, I did a full fucking like thirty minute session of huh? eerie recordings. That was not anything I paid you for. Or asked um, you to do I, for G Night's birthday. I think, I think I was playing on somebody for like a, a special occasion, and then I, I got really embarrassed and may have like archived it or deleted it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I um, never heard that. <laughs> yeah, it exists. Huh. There's a lot of there's a lot of wet noises and um and moaning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guess me. Yeah. I'm very upset now. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't fucking know. I'm very upset that you never sent me that. <laughs> listen, I, get, I get I get self-conscious. Okay. <laughs> that's why that's why I don't listen to any episodes of Star Palace because I don't want to hear myself. <laughs> I'm like I I, I listen and I go ew. <laughs> Who hired this guy? Me. So yeah, you're gonna have to when... dig that out. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, damn, somewhere. okay. If it's somewhere, if not, I'll just I guess I'll have to record a part two at some point in my in all my free time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Look at that, you broke G-Knight's heart. I don't think Mirage would have one, though. I feel like Mirage would, like, f- like stumble and trip on a cock and then, like, get really <laughs> flustered about it. Yeah, no, honestly, I, I <laughs> Mirage is just no. Absolutely Yeah, not. exactly. That's why I'm like, I don't think of Mirage in that context. Yeah, no, I don't either. So I, so I, I just, I, I don't even think about doing that. Mm-hmm. You know but, how uh, thirsty no, Eerie is. I have told you no, how thirsty e- that woman Eerie, is. Eerie, Eerie is a free and sexually liberated woman. Yeah. And we applaud her for it. Mm-hmm. As a certified Mirage simp, I can confirm your voice is S tier. No, it's based. Based? I, I your, wasn't your, your sure if they meant based, based or tier. Yeah, my voice is based. Thank oh, you. is? Okay. I can't read. Yeah. I don't have glasses You're okay. on. Yeah, it's based. I like to think so. Mirage is one of those voices that I was really comfortable with doing. Mm-hmm. Um, I Eerie took a lot of warming up too, um, mainly because I it's it's standard British RP, and even then, well, I also part of my thing in coming up with Eerie is what you're gonna get some lore here. Mm-hmm. Um, when Callan told me to do it, uh, I was like, okay, well, I, I had no context for Gartha at this point. It was only for Star Palace. It really, you told me that this character existed outside of it. Yeah. But you didn't tell me like what it was like what it was. Mm-hmm. And so, if you listen to it at some points, um, 
this the standard British RP in Eerie's voice will sometimes slip a little bit in the Cockney, just ever so slightly. Um, and that's that's very intentional because mm-hmm. it's supposed to still be a little bit of mirage in that. Um, and I don't, I don't know if that'll stay for Dartha, but like it was it was a conscious choice that I made. Honestly, I like it. I think it's fun. Um. Like it's, it doesn't it's it's like pretty much full British RP except for like little, um little nuances and little words and sometimes I'll find myself doing it too much and I'll have to like retake the hell out of it. <laughs> I'll, I'll like I'll, no I I kid you not I will spend like thirty minutes trying to get like one line out to I'm sound so correct in in standard British RP because mm-hmm. I'm like this sounds too Cockney or this like it's slipping and like I'm saying a word that is like sounding cockney and Mm -hmm. it's not supposed to sound like that in british rp it sounds like this so um i it's a lot of painstaking labor and it's like it's very much a conscious decision on when i'm going to use it when i'm not going to (laughs) Mm -hmm. smoothie says i will never express enough how much gender envy i get from your voice doof your voice is absolutely beautiful and has complete goals oh thanks yeah, honestly, I I like the idea of like slipping a little bit of Cockney in there because in a way it also could denote that like she's actively doing the PR accent to sound fancier. Mm-hmm. If yeah, you that's take part it in, of like, it too. Yeah, that's part the, of it too. Yeah, like in the context of like Gartha specifically, so like it makes sense in the context of Mirage, and then it could also make sense in the context of Gartha. Yeah, um, I think she's the the way that I looked at her. I was like, okay, this is a person who's like. Not from like an extremely like wealthy background, mm-hmm. but it, like at the same time, there's like an er, like it, there's elegance to them. So of course they're not gonna be like sound like fucking uh, Mrs. Lovett from Sweeney Todd. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're not gonna sound like a Monty Python parody of something. <laughs> but and now um, for something completely different. Yeah, but they're also it's not gonna be like completely like complete Alfred Pennyworth. Yeah. From, you know what I mean? Like there has to be some like little bits of give and take things in there. Well, yeah. yeah. Also, if you like listen to any British accent, there's not just like British RP. There's like like every neighborhood, mm-hmm. it has their own accent. Yeah. <laughs> like every little block of place that you go to in in London, like it's their accent's completely different. Um, I, 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 don't, I didn't settle really on any like specific. I, I didn't go. Oh, I'm gonna do a Westminster accent. I was like fuck off. I'm not gonna learn that. <laughs> I, I don't care enough about British people to uh, <laughs> to go through that. <laughs> um, I'm tell that to Snoozy. <laughs> no, I love Snoozy. <laughs> no, I, I kid. Also, wait, Snoozy, you're British. You didn't know that? No, I was just in London. What? <laughs> I... Oh well, you missed me. Rip, <laughs> you you have me you have me for a week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh yeah, we were talking about um. <laughs> versus hell friend <laughs> oh yeah liverpoolian accent arc win um oh what you mean like any time that i pull out like a like a john lennon impression or no, not <laughs> john lennon like a ringo impression mm-hmm. i'm not gonna do it on stream because i'm gonna make an ass of myself but <laughs> that's kind of why it's fun though <laughs> uh I'm try- like half the time whenever people contact me for uh, like work of any kind they want me to do an impression of some sort mm-hmm. and they're like or like they'll base their OC on an impression of some some kind mm-hmm. um and I mean that's it's like a good philosophy sometimes but I f- I'll find my voice kind of like it'll start off as like me kind of trying to do a one to one and then it's like ends up finding its own yeah which I mean totally works I mean that's that's basically what happened with like Reed finding Zavi's voice and like even even the the impression of the Monokuma, like like you said, it's not exactly yeah. Monokuma, but it was exactly like what I wanted. So yeah. just because it may start as an impression doesn't mean it stays one, like you just said. No, um, I mean if, like if you look at the Simpsons, they do that all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Mo the bartender is like a like a really poor impression of Al Pacino. Mm-hmm. 
like a really poor impression of Al Pacino. Yeah. But like it still is. Um, and a lot of those things start start off that way. So um, there ain't no harm in it. Yeah. Hey, it's me again before we go to bed. I want to remind you that there will be a Friday the 13th of October. Yes, there will. Ooh. Yes. I thought you left. Which is funny because Shirt Menu also said that you left. So yeah. why are you calling somebody else out? <laughs> yeah, you should have gone to London. Actually, I Shirt Menu, you said that you left twice. <laughs> yeah, Snoozy, I was there from like, um, I'm going to dox myself here. Uh, <laughs> I was there from, I think, the 5th through the 12th of July. I was I was all up in your territory. And you you were none the wiser. <laughs> it's all good, Mila. We appreciate it. That's really cool. Yeah. It's because they uh she was keeping in mind that we were talking about Halloween and spooky shit earlier. Yeah. I love Halloween. <laughs> sure man, what do you mean uh -uh? you literally said you were getting off to play Team Fortress 2? Yeah, wasn't that before the SCP comment that you posted too? Uh, there was another one where he said he was gonna leave, and that was bef that was before that, yeah. And then this one yeah. was uh not too long ago. It was uh when they were saying they wanted to give like eerie tiny schmooches, and uh right right before you started talking about the not safe for work eerie recording. You know, shirt sure, man. I don't, I don't I don't quite appreciate liars in my chat. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Mila. Oh, <laughs> Snoozy. Hey, Snoozy, uh, riddle me this. Why the fuck do, does nobody in your country have, <laughs> like, public outlets anywhere? Can you, can you riddle me this, please? Because, like, I, I went everywhere. Like, I'm, I'm making everywhere. Like, the only places that had public outlets were, like, Starbucks and, a McDon and like, McDonald's over there. Everywhere else, I was, like, struggling to find somewhere to charge my phone. <laughs> and, yes, I brought an international plug. I know I know to do that. But, like, they don't have public outlets anywhere. Here in the U.S., like, you, you walk like in anywhere. Everywhere. Be, yeah. But, like, I went over there and I was, like, active. I, like, I, my phone was at, like, 5% by the end of the day because I had nowhere to plug my phone in. <laughs> public outlets? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I was right. <laughs> I was right. Yes, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, they're all over. Like, for example, when, when Doof needed to charge their phone when we were at Disney, we just like took a break, we went over to a hotel, we sat in one of the hallways, and there were outlets all over the hallways. Like, we just sat at a little table and charged their phone. Oh my god. Yeah, but that's the, that's the thing is like I found that like charging stations where you had to pay to charge your phone, mm. um, and you could like buy like bricks to charge your phone, but like there I couldn't find a single public outlet except for like in businesses. So that wow, that's okay. I wasn't off base. I thought that maybe I was just crazy and not looking in the right places. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, I love you. <laughs> Oh, that's that's fantastic. Aww. <laughs> what do you all do? Just not be on your phones constantly? <laughs> I would die. It, it, no, I'm telling you, it made it made navigating the fucking tube system a living nightmare. Mm. It was terrible, because like at the end of the day, I wouldn't have any charge on my phone, and uh, I'd be trying to get back home from a concert. It was like eleven o'clock at night, and my phone's at like three percent. I'm just trying to get from one place to another. I was in Iceland a while back, and a popular mural in Reykjavik reminded me of Shura. Huh. Reykjavik. I would like to see the mural. That'd be cool. You and one of my favorite TikTokers were just in Iceland recently. I wonder if he went at the same time. He was a public menace. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was another thing that I fucking hated about uh, London. Like, okay... Listen, I felt so at home in London. I, I loved it. I would move there in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. But fuck Tesco. Um, I'm very sensitive to, like, sauces and stuff on my sandwiches. Uh-huh. 
um, and walking into a Tesco, I was very hungry, and I was like, I, I said I didn't want to like spend a bunch of money on food, mm -hmm. and so I was like, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get like a meal deal, and so I went and I, I went to get a sandwich. Every single sandwich on it has mayonnaise. I I, oh, yeah, not, I forgot like, you don't like mayonnaise. No, I fucking hate it. Yeah. And every single one had mayonnaise on it, and I was like, I I just left. I I was defeated. <laughs> oh no. Actually, I do have a weird sandwich sauce story when I was in London, like a long, long time ago. Uh, we, my mom was stupid and we'd gone to Buckingham Palace and she wanted to walk back to our hotel and said we could just walk around Hyde Park, not realizing how large Hyde Park is. Yeah, Hyde Park's massive. And we did not have proper walking shoes uh and it got to the point we got not even halfway around and i was starving and we got like these sandwiches and I, it was like a it was like a turkey cranberry sandwich it looked really good it had this really weird almost like thousand island dressing kind of sauce on it and it did not match with the flavors and i did not like it so i only mm. ate like three bites of it <laughs> well that was that was part of the thing is like i i had some really good eating over there people mm -hmm. always like warning me about how bland like food oh no over there most of be. the rest of the food and is I great well, 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 that's the thing is because it, it was a giant melting pot city, uh -huh. so like you could find pretty much any kind of food you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Um, but once you got into like Tesco sandwiches, it's like, of course, there's no spice on anything, it's just like mayonnaise, cheese, and ham. And I would have been fine with just the cheese and ham, but the fact that it had mayonnaise on it made me want to gag. Did you eat at the place I told you to eat at? Uh, no, because I didn't go to Stratford upon Avon. Oh, okay, I didn't have time to because uh -huh. I every single one of my days were booked. Mm -hmm. Um, so I just didn't have time to, but I went. I did eat, eat at the Swan over at the Globe. Mm. Um, I had a really good sausage roll there. Yeah, I I really loved that pub. I loved it so much. Uh, yeah. uh I think we also ate at a pub that was uh literally called like Dirty Dicks. Mm -hmm. And they had a really good like like crab cake. <sighs> I'm trying to remember where I ate. Uh. Also, you, they, they have fucking uh, uh, fries everywhere. Everywhere that I went, there was there were fries of some kind. Chips. Well, I no, but like some a lot some. Uh, it's weird. A lot of the places did call them fries. Huh. I was very confused. I was like, some places would call them chips, and then other places would just be fries. I was like, okay. Did you get a full English like, breakfast? I did not, because <gasps> well, half the time I didn't wake up. Uh, wake up early enough to warrant me getting breakfast <laughs> mm, i mean a lot of places actually sell it like 24 7 because it's so yeah, popular i just i just didn't mm. I, I also I, just didn't want to i need more high i didn't want to be i didn't want to be that person oh to like order a bunch of um i guess what you would call like stereotypical like american goes to london food oh it's not though a full english breakfast is actually like a huge part of the culture over there oh i know I know it is, and like as the same thing with like Guinness in Dublin. Mm. Um, but I felt I felt like I went to London and I went to a pub for my ten-hour layover, and I I, or I ordered a Guinness there. And of course, the same thing is here, but it's like you do it whenever you go there. Yeah. But I felt very self-conscious doing it, and mm. I, I was like, uh, I'm gonna do the stereotypical American thing and like have a Guinness. But then I go in there, and there's like a guy, like this old Irish man who walks in asking for a Guinness, and then like this young Irish lad comes in. With like reading a newspaper, and he also wants again. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess that's all they fucking drink in here. <laughs> um, where the fuck did I eat? Uh, yeah, Snoozy says a full English is a classic, like everywhere. Shory, so good. That was the ramen place that I went to. Ooh, I'll show you, maybe. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Um, oh, our music ran out. Had the best croissant that I ever had. Um. In uh, Leiden Hall. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Mm. <laughs> Any hotel I go to, I didn't stay at a hotel that served food at all. Huh. Um, Actually, yeah, I don't think any of our uh, hotels did either. The only place it did was the bed and breakfast in Edinburgh. Or not Edinburgh, I'm sorry, in Stratford upon Avon. Did I tell you that the guy uh, over <laughs> at my hotel walked in on me naked? No. Oh, yeah. That was that was a weird story. Ooh. Um, I was um, it was really hot, uh, over there. I don't know if people knew, but like there was like a bit of a heat wave that happened while I was over there. Yeah. Um, where it was just really fucking hot. Like it was probably about like 80, de 80 degrees Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. ish. 
Um, which isn't so bad, I guess, whenever you're in America, but once you're overseas, it's like, it feels different. Yeah. it's not the type of weather that you get usually. Yeah, well, because over um, there, their AC system isn't as intense as it needs uh-huh. to be here, yeah. And that was a big issue at my hotel, is that, like, my, my AC only went down, like, seven degrees. Mm. Um, and so I was, like, sitting there sweating, and so I'm like, I'm gonna take off all my clothes and get under the covers, because, like, I, that's, I have to sleep this way or else I'm gonna die. Yeah. So I go to sleep. And eight o'clock in the morning, I wake up to this man opening my door, and I'm halfway off the covers. Uh huh. Um, and I-, I scream bloody murder, and he's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They g- they gave me the key to your room. Are you sleep? Are you staying here?" I'm like, "Yes, I'm staying here." And he's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone." I I, I just didn't bring it up with anyone. I didn't bring it up with the hotel staff or anything. I'm just oh like, okay, God. well, I guess it's a thing that happened, and I'm gonna have to deal with it. Alta Gina, what do you got battery wise? I saw your little warning pop up. Ten percent. Oh no. Oh, we got like fifteen minutes. Yeah. But no, there was no, there was no hotel, there was no hotel um food. Also, I was a bit irked with the bathroom. Oh, oh, was it tiny? <laughs> no, it's oh. not. That it was tiny. Is that um there was no door separating the shower from the rest of the bathroom? Oh yeah, I stayed in hotels like that only a little sliver of wall and it was like a um it was like a, a ceiling shower uh-huh so it, it you know it came down straight in the middle from the ceiling and so it would splash everywhere and get all over the rest of the fucking bathroom yeah one of the hotels i stayed in was like that too that was uh the bathroom was so small that when i bent over to shave i banged my head on the door the the wall yeah it wasn't small but i was mm-hmm. like this is a bit weird also there's like this the hotel room there's nowhere to store my stuff mm-hmm. um I was like, I have to keep my all my clothes in a corner, and then my uh, my bag in another corner. Mm-hmm. Other than that, though, I loved it. I had such a great time. Yeah, as soon as you said British weather is awful, it's either way too uh-huh. hot and you're absolutely scalding, or it's absolutely freezing and you're getting hypothermia. <laughs> that no, are just raining. That's funny because when I went, it didn't rain. Uh, I think did I have did it rain at all? I don't think it did. Verity said, Snoozy, as a fellow English, I've got to say you're not the best ambassador, but you're not wrong. Yeah, I also, I don't think it did. Um, I don't think it rained either while I was there, which also added to it being like excruciatingly hot. Yeah, it didn't cool anything um, down at all. Well, I went to see the weekend one night, mm-hmm. and um, I didn't get there. I got there after they had opened like the gate to let people into the venue. Mm-hmm. But they allowed people to uh, to sit outside the venue very in an unorganized fashion and not give them water while mm. it was about eighty degrees Fahrenheit. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "This is ins-. people. People were passing out." Yeah. And I don't think that's very typical. <laughs> mm. And they're just not prepared for it. Here, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's humid out. Um, probably shouldn't wear a jacket because, like, if it does, I'll die of a heat stroke. Mm. But um, I don't think that's, like, a normal thing. Um, usually, uh, No, it did. It rained one morning that I was there. Huh. And that was it. It rained one morning. Egg. Egg. Uh, visit, you know, <laughs> I'll try to make it more welcoming. No, I had a listen, I had an amazing time. I'd move there in a heartbeat if I could. Oh, five percent. Um, one of my um favorite artists is doing an opera soon. Ooh. Uh so uh if in that if they do it on the National Theater, I'll be going back. hmm Oh yeah. I've already confirmed with my parents, I'm like, if that happens, we're going. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I just want to play with the Queen's Corgis. That's all. I know she's, you know. I, I thought you were going to say the queen's corpse. No, corgis. I love corgis. They're one of my favorite dogs. Can't believe Gina's iPad's going to die right on stream. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's okay. If it dies, uh, I was planning on showing them a preview of the Kickstarter page anyway before we ended the stream. Oh, yeah. are you? I forgot that you're the one streaming. Hmm? <laughs> so I forgot you're the one streaming. I totally. Yep. It's the me. 
Ay, se me... It's a millonario. No, I wasn't gonna say corbs, <laughs> like corgis! <laughs> <laughs> all right everyone that's all you get <laughs> yeah that looks so good though fucking <laughs> rabbit at the bottom <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> hollow rabbit <laughs> Uh, right. You're gonna have to stop uh, the, 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 the share screen thing because uh, if I, if I, oh, as I a co creator, I'm gonna see a little something in my yep. background. I already did it. You're good. Yeah. You're good. Okay. You're good. All right, guys, give me just a second to rearrange a little bit over here. Doop, doop. Yeah? Yeah, I'm just waiting. Preview. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's... Oh, Alright. That's fine. Woo! Okay. So, yeah, this is a little preview of the, uh, the Kickstarter page, so you guys can see... All of the cute little graphics and the hard work I've been doing on all this. So obviously we're missing one reward, which is going to go right here in between the $50 and the $100. And that's where the print is going to go. But yes, yeah, so we've got the, uh, the cute little stickers that she and I did. We've got an eerie keychain. There's the print coming. We've got the star palace name tag. There's the emailed copies of the, uh, chapters once they're done and then there's also uh, the big daddy tier which means that this time you can actually get a, a personalized shout out so like I will send out the funds to whoever like whichever character you guys want out of this list and I can write them a, a personal shout out that actually like says your name from the character that you want so yeah that way it's it's a little bit more personalized. Uh, but yeah, we got our stretch goals in here with some extra little things like the sticker and a keychain of Sunny. And uh, I made a pie chart this time of our budgeting so you know exactly, uh, you know, what everything's going into as well as actually describing it with weird fancy pie chart. But yeah. That's pretty much it. And it, like I said, this is going to go live on August 5th. I just keep One scrolling day up before my birthday. Yeah, it's in between our birthdays. See, so so give G Knight the gift of making sure we we uh, we reach this funding so that we can finish getting him his computer as well as getting everybody else paid. <laughs> Please. What kind of things can you request from the show? Whoop! As I accidentally show off the page. What the? F Why is that blank? Stop it! Sorry, my computer went haywire. What kind of things can you request from the shout out? So snoozy. Yeah, sorry, I was getting to that. I just kind of flipped around a little bit too much oh, for a I, second there. I saw we. It's okay. Uh, you good? Um, I don't know why. What are you suggesting? You wanna? I mean, I don't think Reed would mind if it was something a little spicy. Cause what I, do you I... want? Huh? Sorry. No, what'd you say? I said, what do you want? I'm pretty sure she wants a spicy shout out from Zabby. Huh? Shut up, but I surely know it's Abby related. Mm-hmm. She was asking. But yeah. Alrighty, friends. We should probably end the stream here, especially because it has been uh hours. So thanks for Long coming, everybody. Alto Doof, thanks for popping in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Glad I could finally make one of these. Yeah. I know you've been busy lately, so Ugh. Yeah. And then Gina, <laughs> thanks for drawing. Yeah, thank you. I drew art. That's all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean that's all you can do? That's amazing. That's the only thing I'm good at in this life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing I love about your company is how transparent you are about where the money goes. I don't like the idea of companies or even like indie companies lying to people, not telling them where the money goes because, you know, 
when you're excited about something and you're paying into it, you, you want to see where it's going. So I try to make yeah. sure that I do that for everybody because I don't I don't think it's fair to do anything other than that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Alrighty, friends. Thanks for coming. Have a great night. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. Bye.